tweet it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing that too. Doing yeah, that. Dude, get Tibbity. Doing that too. I can't wait for the crowd reaction to this shit. It's gonna be fucking popping. They're gonna be. Like... <gasps> oh god, hiccup. My my fucking throat. Oh, I actually wouldn't mind seeing how they react to it. No, no. It, is, it looks beautiful. I also wouldn't mind seeing it in, like full size. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh and there we go. Yep, time to kill a god. There we go, here we here we go. Here's the chat chat's reactions. There we go. Yeehaw. Oh my Yeehaw. god. Oh, I'm getting a I'm getting a Eve Online ad. Damn it. Ah uh, snap. <laughs> Get ready everyone. Wahoo. Wahoo. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, I don't know if you actually knew where that came from because I'm just like, oh shit, you watch Critical's videos too? <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't watch Critical's videos? They're great. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, if God can here. save us, who can stand against us? Nobody! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, as you all as you all see here, the, the best boy is hungry. <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see it. My, my screen went blank instead of oh, actually showing boy, me what it meant to show me. You haven't seen it yet. Oh, oh, thank you, Ujima, for the bits. I think we're just doing the preamble here before we get started. Yeah, a little, little bit of a pre preview. I got, I got, I got tweeted out. I gotta, I gotta tweet this shit out real fast here. Oh shit! Did I hit send on my tweet? I forget that sometimes. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just have weak open. I'll just have weak old drunk thoughts on a separate tab and just like, huh? When did I write that? Yeah, yeah. You, you forgot <laughs> to post those. <laughs> well, might as well hit send now. <laughs> Better late than never, I guess. Also, also, yeah. everyone. Yes, the eye is moving. So fill them full of cupcakes. Cupcakes. Oh god, I need to see this. Uh, where is it? I I, I, I can't help but feel like every time you like say, "Hey, Tars, how you doing?" Just a gag reflex. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> every every time the cup gets, the more the cup fills up, the more he fucking can't breathe because it's hitting the bottom of his the back of his throat. Oh Just my dang. god, it looks so good! <laughs> oh my god, like, like, throwing god, cupcakes. Oh god, cup. help me! Oh. <laughs> Are they, are, oh, they, are, are, they, are, are they are they are, are they feeding him? Are they feeding yeah. him? Good? I'm just building my tweet right now. What, how do... Everyone's everyone's mm. fucking like dropping so many bits in there. It's just that no one can keep mm. it inside because they're just flying out. Oh, the, the cupcakes are starting to stack up. Oh yeah, the cupcakes are really oh, starting yeah, to stack they are. up. Yeah, cupcakes. I'm just waiting for that one giant bit drop though, and then just kasploosh. Aki would be so happy right now with all the More. cupcakes. Yes, she would. Feed me more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. What? That's so many cupcakes. Yeah, it's just overflowing really bad now. Yeah, you know what would be great, though? You're going to give him diabetes, it's guys. It's oh, probate. Oh, probate. Oh. Probate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Atarisk is just like... <laughs> probate! <laughs> Probate's on a diet! Probate's on I a... Just... Probate makes sure that Tarisk is on his diet. I, I... Jesus! <laughs> I, ju I just imagine that he's just... He's just hurling up whole tiny cupcakes. Just... <laughs> you know the more, the 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 fuller the cop looks, the more concerned his face looks. Somehow, I don't know. You know That's what I said. I, I said like every time it gets filled, it touches the back of his throat. I would I would love I would love it is if, if as the stream went on, the cupcakes just sort of like lowered a little bit, just just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I just love the girl. Oh, oh my god! Thank there's thank you for the twenty five dollars. So well, so that, welcome to the cupcake simulator game, guys. Oh my God! This, this <laughs> All right, so, so okay, everyone, welcome, welcome to uh, the Unexpectables. This will be the entire show for the whole evening. <laughs> yeah, it will. Be. Oh my God, there's there's so Tars many cupcakes. There's so many cupcakes. It's actually lowering the the frames per second on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You have no idea how much of the unexpectables you were paying for with I these think the bits. special boy needs some cap as stat. <laughs> <laughs> he might oh need to eat Mr. Goodness. Steak. 
<laughs> Someone donates like 5,000 bits and it's just like a rock that goes straight down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> if I can set it so the, when it, the higher the bits, the further down it would get shoved, I would do that. And it was... No, it does do that. The higher the bit, the, the more more. Yeah, it goes oh, oh, in. That, that's what I meant. But like the actual whole cup would like dip down with it. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just keeps coming. There, it, the the stream is at like twenty five frames per second. Right now. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> Luco, daddy, hey Taco, with the five thousand. Oh no! Oh, here it comes. Just oh, pour some comes. salt over those cupcakes. Don't choke. <laughs> Don't choke, Tarsk. <laughs> Tarsk is going to choke. Oh my god, this is going to be great. <laughs> when it hits. Even, there's so many cupcakes, I can't tell where the salt is coming from. <laughs> that was the VIP. <laughs> Who's Stop feeding it, my you... boy paper? Stop it, you're killing him. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I was... This is so cute. Yeah, it's guys, this, this is the new layout for the Unexpectables, guys. I hope you like it. And you guys help pay for it, which is nice. And by all means, please keep feeding the good boy. <laughs> Don't feed him robots. No, he, no he, feed him robots. Feed him whatever. Robots he's, are the he's, best. he's like a donkey. He can eat anything. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. So funny. This is putting a big smile on my face. I really appreciate he's, this. He's already dead. Oh Looks God. like he's gargling water. <laughs> just drop, drop some robots in there. Just talk up, talk. You know what you need to do now? What's Commission that? someone to make a drool animation off the side of his mouth. <laughs> okay, I'll have to think about that. <laughs> the, there needs to be like a like a flush button where it all just goes down to the bottom of the cup and then disappears. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they all go. Oh my God! He's oh my gone. God! This. He's going to get a good taste of some robots just in case the uprising happens. Oh, wait, Glucose Daddy just dropped another 5k. Oh my god, Glucose. <laughs> you guys are killing us here. You guys are killing us here. Holy shit. Oh, oh this is fantastic. <laughs> this, is just, this is just mesmerizing to watch. Oh, oh Zetacore. Oh my god. You guys. We have a bit. You started a bit war. A bit war. Bit war. Oh, fuck. That was a lot of bits. It's watching like chefs battle it out. To see who can make the best food. It's Do we need no? We need Ty Borpington like pushing the cupcakes into his mouth. <laughs> a little fork. Yep. I actually was considering maybe having a tie popping into the corner. We'll see about that. Come oh, on man. in, have some. Ty Borping. <laughs> Ty Borpington's. Uh, he needs to get his coffee shop business off the ground. The finest oh, beans. <laughs> Probate. How do you get people to drop bits? Put the cup in an adorable dragon's mouth. Pretty much. I think I think we should play the game. I mean, yeah. like, I guess we <laughs> could. Started. I guess so. Yeah. Games. Those are for nerds. All right, you guys ready to go? Yeah. I'm sorry. What was the JRPG you played the other night? Okay, Zeno. I <laughs> suffered. Okay. Oh, no, no. Play, start the game. Oh. <laughs> start the game. I don't like DM on DM violence in my streams. It's just not a... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm the DM in this game. Oh god, and that's all I'm going to say about well, that. Thank you so much for all the bits, guys. I, I, I like... know you're fucking going to kill Task anyway, so don't worry about it. Like, I'm fully expecting Jeez. that. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care, oh, even though he's my favorite D&D &D character I've ever made. I don't fucking give a shit. <laughs> I, have, right, I have three more, Taka! I know! Okay. You guys ready to go? You done? Yeah, let's do it. No more looking know. at the cup. I don't know, chat. Are you ready? You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Also, I wouldn't intentionally murder anyone. That's not what I do. No, you just break our toys. Mm. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Just, just, I, don't, I don't come to your house and slap the 20 out of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm getting so much sass today. All right. <laughs> when last we left our heroes, Panic, the Tiefling Bard, Borky, the Orc Barbarian, Greckles, the Kenku Rogue, and Task, the Cobalt Ranger, the party had just completed their mission in the Nocturnal Timberland and slayed many a giant spider and edder cap. Mm. Traveling into the Deep Road Settlement and succumbing to the power of the Magical Dog Zone, heralded by the mighty and magical Pug, the party completed a challenge presented by the Magical Pug and defeated the horrible ordeal of the Trial of Dog. The party then returned to the logging camp, returned to their original human forms, and had a well-deserved rest. Soon, the party discovered that their companion, Solly, had begun to act oddly, 
and so the party decide to make their way back to Alavast with utmost haste. But upon traveling back through the woods, the party was besieged by a gaggle of strange, long-limbed, leech-mouthed monstrosities. After a shocking accident between Borky's lightning javelin and Panic's sweet abs, the party collected a corpse of one of the strange monsters. Now, they make their way back to Alavast, back home, but what could await them? I know I am serious, and I've been repeating it for what it feels like a long time. I am sorry, Panic. Please hire me back. Mm. Mm, hang on. Uh, who's who's typing? Who's, ty who's typing? Ah! I'm having a little bit of uh, palpitations right now. I, did. I think it's uh, <laughs> some residual electricity in my body. I, I just imagine I'm randomly twitching. <laughs> just consider it shock therapy. For what? <laughs> For being alive? Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> Worked wonders, Greckles. I, I just don't know what to do with this. Borky's holding his spear in his hand. It's so much power. It's almost too much power. Uh, Panic clasps his hand on Borky's shoulder, and he's just like, Borky. You do I only kind of blame you for what happened. I really appreciate that. <laughs> But you'll understand that from now on, I will be behind you for all encounters. I'll be honest, I don't know why you have me doing that this whole time. You always like I run agree. I, I used to yeah, always he, run he does have a point. I know you're lucky to be all about you, but you always run forward and then things hit you. Listen, I have a very unique skill set, and some of that requires me to be close to enemies. Okay, we get it. You're just trying to get scars on purpose so you can look cool. Hey. I, I, Am I lying? <laughs> He I does look so. sort of cool. There's Solly just kind of pipes and, and Tash kind of like points to Solly and then points back to to <laughs> to Panic. Listen, that was a coincidence. If I could go my entire life without having any scars, that would be fantastic. This is just it it just a coincidence, really. And now you look like, like some I, kind of wizard's thrall and you can sing about it. It's not like I'm trying to run in front of your arrows or, or jump in front of Greco's darts just to get more scars. Panic. I nearly died. Panic. Yes. Who are you Who are you trying to impress? I'm not trying to impress anyone. Women. Women. Well, women. Wait a minute. Women. I lied. Mm -hmm. I'm actually trying mm -hmm. to impress everyone. That's my job. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, quick question, actually. Would you say that you're lightning in a bottle now? Did we pick up any of the corpses of the creatures on the floor and put them in the bag? Uh, how many? I mean, there were about five or six of them. Um, I think three of them turned to ash. Yeah, I think three of them were kind of gone. Uh, I have a strange what? creature corpse. We got one. Okay, yeah. The, the one that was closest to you, the first one you guys actually killed, was a pretty clean kill. So out of all of them, that was the one that was most intact. Yeah, you we are taking part. this. Yeah, you did try to carve through another one, but it was very bony. Like, it was very weird. It was almost like kind of dissecting an esophagus, like, Wait, except oh, made of bones. What about the, uh, the, 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 the cat corpses? The... They're in the bag. Are they all right, though? The, the cat corpses? Oh, you, you were talking the about the kitty weapons. Like the... Oh, weapons. yeah, no, we still have that. So the weird spider corpses are dissolved, though. The weird no, we... spider? No, no, no. Uh, in the combat, you guys fought them, and some of them got just turned to ash. Oh, okay. Well, there was okay. one good yeah. one, though. Yeah, yeah you guys got one good one. And we, and we throw it in a bag. Let's go. I'm still a little uh, easy. Oh, uh, want me to carry you on my back? <sighs> yes. All right, Borky, Borky picks up Panic and puts him on his back like a piggyback ride. Okay, you, you, I, I'm not gonna, you guys rolled for this because this is a group effort. Uh, you managed to scramble up onto Borky's shoulders. Very, very nice and comfortable. Um, you look very weirdly regal with your tiara and sitting atop a lofty throne. And, and your fucking uh, darks, and your dark sign on your stomach. <laughs> Panic <laughs> leans his head back and lets the wind catch his hair. Uh, as you do, you get a mouthful of leaves as you run right into a tree branch. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. God, these idiots! I'm gonna let's jump keep, in it. I'm gonna yeah, jump in a stealth and, and and scout ahead. Why? Why did, okay. did Breckles go? Twenty, tw twenty stealth. All right. You you immediately you're now in like your ideal environment. You're back in those nice lush woods. Uh, it's a very hot day. 
uh, and you just you just full on like Looney Tunes dive right in. You're swimming in those shrubs. It's great. Nice. Swim, swimming in them. If 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 everything if it's okay with you guys, I want to be about 10, 20 feet ahead in stealth. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. That yeah, sounds good. Okay, uh, just... I'll have you roll a perception check then. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Ooh, nine perception. Probably not much. <laughs> no, you 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 kind of you're walking, and there's still some webs just kind of loosely about, and you're just kind of like you're walking, and you're looking, you just get plack, you get some in your mouth. You're, you're looking at you just go, hmm, silly, there's trees. Silly question. And, Do we have a short rest after this? Before, after the last uh, fight? Would it be safe you guys can stop for a short rest if you like. Okay, because I'm at 34 health right now. In case we get another fight, I'm down. How? What time of day is it right now? Uh, it's about mid-afternoon. It'd be a little early to, to nap now. I, I, I say we keep going, honestly. Like, what, when it gets close to nighttime, we'll have... I, I say we keep making distance. Uh, Sully walks up to you, Borky. While well, we're walking? Yeah, and she just takes her hand gauntleted and she puts it on your forearm. Oh. Nope, nothing happens. She kind of lifts it up and she kind of shakes her head frustrated and kind of just saunters away. Tag, wait, I'm, oh, tag wait, on me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something. Uh, the second she, the second she um, puts her hand on Borky's on Borky's arm. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try to subtly use my uh, my healing wand. On okay, you, you roll a sleight of hand. Roll that slight, baby. Okay, I'll roll to see if she notices. Let me grab her stats real quick here. I should have had that open. It's okay, Nadine. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Okay. Oh, pfft, natural one. Nope. <laughs> Thought it was an 11. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> no, she doesn't notice. She seems a little too, like, really focused on trying to make it work. And then she does see it as, as some of Borky's wounds. So you want to roll for the magic wand? Yeah. Uh, that's 2d4 plus 4. Uh, I believe so, yes. Some of our items are gone. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Back, back up to max, max healing. Baby. Max healing. Two fours. Not bad. I it feels I, I I can I can I describe what it feels like to Borky? Sure. It feels like panic like crack open an egg on his head and it's slowly running down his body. It <laughs> feels like just amazing. <laughs> Solly looks up and sees kind of your wound seal and she kind of lifts up her hand and then she's kinda of like wide eyed and you see kind of a twinkle in her eye. Um, yeah. and then the she kind of looks at her palm and she kind of, she starts to walk a little differently. Um, she starts panic. to walk more in the sunlight. She's not walking in the shadow of the trees anymore. A panic just oh, grins. All she needed was a widow happiness. Believe. <laughs> <laughs> panic is going to play a, a jaunty tune for them as they walk. How on. jaunty is the tune? Uh, pretty jaunty. Yeah. Okay, roll a performance check. That will be the judge. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna scale from zero to twenty. How jaunty uh, is this? Roll that one and uh, break a string from I, flop if, to jaunt. If I if I fail this, I'll call your rolls, babies, everybody. <laughs> oh, that would be a twenty-eight. Oh. Twenty-eight. That's a nineteen. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, it is a very very jaunty tune. It's very uplifting. Yeah. Forky starts bobbing with it. Can we, I imagine us walking like, you know, I agree with the chat, I agree, imagine us walking like the Lion King and sing to the song, Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata. Grekels just kind of rolls his eyes in the bushes and all these idiots making all this Shut noise up, in the of the forest. <laughs> the circle of life. Yes. If you think. Quiet, Mr. Where Bean. I almost die. Oh my god. Uh, Grekels, you're up ahead. Uh-huh. Uh, roll another perception check. Yeehaw. <laughs> 17. Uh, you're walking through the bushes and you, you stick your leg out and you're just about to hit, hit the ground when you realize you're right next to the salt field. Oh. And you I stop. jump out. I jump. Everyone stop. Oof. What? Look Whoa, ahead. Borky. Whoa, Jesus. Borky. Whoa. <laughs> well, gentlemen, we're, walk, we're back. Walker. 
we're back in the salt field. We're gonna Ugh. walk around it. Okay. We are gonna walk can, around it. Can Borky check to see if it's gotten bigger? Um, sure. Roll an investigation check. Ooh, I need to. Ooh, I get to do something fun. Pull my character sheet. Borky pulls out a bubble pipe and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. Spit up. Spit up. Spit up. Spit up enough for clues. He, uh, he takes a he takes a puff of it and gags on soap. <laughs> I'll do, I'll do an investigation perception. check as well, so... That's I'll a go perception. with Daphne. Oh, perception. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're, you're, no, you're supposed to do an investigation, Kurt. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to do investigation? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I rolled a 12 for investigation. Ah, uh, okay. Borky got a net oh. zero. <laughs> he got a net zero! Oh, uh, uh, I rolled a 20. I just... <laughs> Borky. Sure is salt. Akuna, Matata, Akuna, Matata. He has to stop singing. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking we should split up. I'll go with Daphne. <laughs> um, Greckles, you kind of look, you can't really tell. Um, panic from your advantage, uh, the advantage you have with your height and your current uh, perch. Mm. Um, you do feel a gust of wind. And as the gust of wind rolls through the salt field, it comes up to the edge where the salt meets the grass of the forest, and you watch as almost it hits glass, and it ricochets off and falls to the ground as if blocked. Wait, so, so I I see some like dust like hit an invisible wall. Is basically what basically you're yeah, the salt on the ground tries to like blows out of the the ring, and it just is stopped by something in the air. So it's basically it's basically like hmm. a warded area. All right, we're going around it. Okay, it it seems as though. Hmm. It does it seem. Uh, did um. Can I like roll knowledge history maybe to see if it did that before? Um. You could roll roll a general intelligence check. Okay. Uh, try not to get a natural zero. I'll try. <laughs> I got my That's a nine. Man, the ladies are gonna love that scar. <laughs> this stuff can wait. Forget it. I, I'm, 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 wait, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for panic to just go yip yip and just turn. <laughs> I was about to say mush, Borky. <laughs> I don't want to eat that for dinner. Borky turns and starts walking with the guys. Oh, let me let me jump back into stealth real quick. Okay. Twelve. Bleh. <laughs> uh, with the with one side being dedicated to the salt field, mm -hmm. uh, you're only kind of limited to the foliage on the other side, which for the most part is there. But because this is sort of a flat land, there's more grass than there is, you know, bushes and, and very tall trees. You've kind of exited the wooded area, mm. but All you right. manage to do some like Metal Gear Solid like stomach crawls and things like that. <laughs> um, Task, you do notice that Solly kind of stops and is looking out into the salt field, just sort of with mild um, curiosity for the most part. Task, like, just saunders back and grabs her by the wrist. No, whatever you're thinking, don't go inside there. Nope. I know better than that. No one's supposed to go inside of there. Sorry, I just thought I saw something. Saw what? Because we saw a skeleton, like... Unfortunately, me and Greckles ended up getting a little on the way out of here, and we watched a skeleton kind of just, like, try to grasp for us as we got out of the zone. I did see something dark like that. And she kind of points over, and you see, like, kind of hunched and just, like, absolutely sun, like, sun-drenched, and just, like, the straw that makes it up is just, like, black, is a scarecrow, like, hunched on one side, and she kind of points to it, and she goes, I just... I thought I saw that move. Did we see that before we came this way? Nope. Oh. Shite. Hmm. hmm. What was Hang it again? On. Sorry. I, 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 I wonder. Did I just miss it? I, task once. Mm, no, actually, I don't want to waste an arrow because I was about Hang to say on. I want to take a pot shot at it from here. Hang on. Uh, Panic is going to uh, crawl off of Forky's back for a moment and he's going to scrape up some some dirt and dust and stuff like that. And he's going to try and throw it into the 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 uh, salted area. You're going to throw what into the salted area? Sorry. Just some, just some just some dirt and dust. Okay. 
All right, you grab a dirt, some dust, a very, very lovely rock, and you throw it in, and it just flies in and scatters across the salt. Untouched, unchanged. Mm, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a second. Grackles, get over here. What's up? Fireball that scarecrow. <sighs> How far away is it, actually? Uh, oh, it's about 100 feet or so. Oh, your feet? Okay. If you're yeah. missed, I can hit it with my light, my lightning lights. I'm really uh, no, Borky, you can Borky. put that away. Why? Why? Oh come no, on, guys! Be like you'd have to go either. back inside of it to get it. Oh, I have to do that, right? Porky puts yeah, it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's an eight. That is not gonna hit. <laughs> you spit it, and it just flies short, and then catches one of the old barn houses on fire. Oh, oh good. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Uh, well, that's in the air now. You look at it, but it doesn't look like it can spread because there's nothing else to really feed it. Right. And it, it burns, it. but then it slowly sizzles out. It doesn't really try, have much to take. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to mage hand inside of the, the salt circle. I'm going to try to grab some dust from in there and try to throw it outside of the circle. Okay. What, oh. are, what, are, you, what are you even doing, man? So you're grabbing salt from the salt field, and then you're trying to throw it towards the woods, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, no, you do that, no. and as you chuck it towards yourself, it just sprays on, like, an invisible wall, and then just filters down to the bottom. All right, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do... I'm going to pray to God to see if this even works. I'm going to roll a perception check on that fucking scarecrow. Yeah, I'll do that as well. A 15. And 11. Uh, or he will roll, too. <laughs> Five. Uh, <laughs> the rest of you kind of watch, but then like the wind picks up and it kind of blows the sand around and kind of gets between you and the scarecrow. Task, you swear you saw it blink. Take it a shot. Okay. <laughs> I'll take another fireball shot as well. T Task, like without delay, just picks up the fucking the bow and arrow and takes a shot at this thing. Okay, roll the hit. 20. 20. All right, that hits. 10. You do 10, 10 damage to it. You um, aim, and it's fairly easy to aim. It's not moving. And you let loose the arrow. It streaks through the windy, howling salt wind and strikes in the chest of the scarecrow. And then you see the whole thing slump over, and you see that skeletal shadow go right into the ground and just disappear through the salt, like almost like a termite or a mole. What? It's inhabit that thing's inhabiting whatever goes inside. That was weird. What do you mean inhabiting? It was in the scarecrow, and then as soon as I knocked it off, it kind of went into hiding into the earth. What did? The skeleton. Remember the thing that came out of me and Greckles when we got out of the zone? Oh, I thought it was your own skeletons running away. Oh my god, Borky. Why? <laughs> Does that strike you any familiar? Looks over to, uh, to Sully. Ghosts can possess things. Hmm. I'd rather I not do it again. Let's stay on the outside of the ring. All right, let me jump back in and take, uh, take 20 foot point, 22 stealth. Ooh. Yeah, you, you start to get your sense of the environment. It's a bit rocky, but you're managing to, to keep good pace and you're really one with the grass now. I also don't want to be here. I don't want to be here at night and then lest we go to sleep and then end up on the other side somehow. Well, that's why we would take shifts. Hmm. Well, a lot of good that did us last time. But let's keep moving. I mean, I would Greckles just glares at panic. What? I hope next, as Borky kind of follows suit, I hope next time we find a kitty zone and then they keep on walking. <laughs> Solly actually kind of turns to uh, to you, Task, and she kind of, she smiles a bit, and she goes, um, I actually got some of my magic to work. Um, I could potentially cast some sort of fire spell to keep a permanent light source on us, and now that it's working again. We could try that. At the same okay. time, let's, uh, let's conserve any attention to ourselves. That might be something we'll have to do later, but why don't we, uh... Oh, right. Sun God. Now that makes sense. We'll try it again tonight. No dark creature would mess with the cleric of Orin. And she kind of Unless they steps. were stupid. Yes. 
That is true. Did I and... notice him kind of like, like, did I notice that downward inflection in his voice? Um, I'm gonna say for the sake of this, hmm. You can roll insight, I guess. I, I don't on know. I, I say just on panic. Oh. I assume you're you're aiming towards yes. panic. Yes. Yeah. Roll roll a general insight, and we'll, we'll see. I'll make the call. Never mind. A five. Yeah. No. No, you didn't hear anything. You're too busy. That scarecrow was a bit weird, and now you've got maybe a potential threat. Your mind's on other matters at the moment. Probably more important matters. Fair enough. All right, you guys continue through, and eventually um, you begin to see it's completely opposite to the salt field. You actually begin to see some normal farms, um, though small scale. Um, more. Hmm? You get the creepy music still playing. I know, it's still creepy. Oh, oh, I thought it was a nice, happy farms. No. Yeah, on the other side. Oh, okay. Um, you do see off into the distance, you do see just a regular farm, but it looks more like a place of lodging, like a person living kind of out of the, out of the town, kind of like, uh, retired and raising animals. It reminds you a bit of John Fleetfinger's farm, um, Abacus's uncle, mm. uh, where it's not really meant to, for sustaining a city. It's more like, Hey, I want some pigs. I want some chickens. I want to live off the land, that sort of thing. Oh, that's fair. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. I can't what imagine. Of... I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, what time of day is it right now? At this point, you guys have been traveling. It's probably about eight o'clock now. Yeah, we gotta pull over. Let's head over. We'll not use whoever lives here's house as lodging. We'll sleep outside. But at least we're in, you know, a comforting zone and not near this monstrosity. The comfort right. zone. Okay. All right. Let's head over. Yep. All right, you managed to find uh, kind of there's like a trail that leads up to the, the farmland. Uh, you managed to find actually kind of an offset. What looks like looks like basically a place for people to hitch up wagons um, to horses and things like that, like prior to traveling uh, further off the beaten path. Uh, you managed to find kind of a nice clearing. There is like a nice uh, remain of a fire pit with some rocks around it. Hmm. It's pretty uh, nice camping. Is there any, uh, any, per any uh, living person around here? Uh, you don't really see anyone. Uh, it looks like potentially you see a light on in the in the farmhouse, uh, but it looks like the person whoever lives there, their work's been done. All right. Well, I'm I'm not going to be rude and like have this guy wake up at six o'clock in the morning, come outside, and there's a band of fucking monsters sitting in his fire pit. So <laughs> I'm gonna knock on the door. All right. Uh, you open the uh, you go up to the door. Very very nice solid oak door. A uh, very similar style house to uh, John's uh, farm as well. You notice that there's lots of chickens. How and many? How many chickens? Like at least like sixty or seventy chickens. That's a lot of chickens. Jeez, That's a lot of chickens. A, chickens. It's it's like all chickens. There's nothing else. It's like all chickens. And you knock on the door, and you're answered by a man with an explosion of white hair and like the bushiest mustache you've ever seen. He's got chicken feathers all over him. He just kind of—he looks like he's just kind of winding down for the day. And he opens the door, and he looks up, kind of looks to the distance, and then notices you and looks down. Hello. Hello. I beg your pardon, sir. Uh, we're travelers. We don't mean to intrude on you, but we would like to make camp near this fire pit for the night. Do we have your consent? Are all of you guys with uh, yeah. task? Okay. Yeah. Uh, he turns and he goes, oh, oh, yes, of course. The soldiers use it all the time. And I, he turns and he looks at you, Greckles, and you see his eyes just widen. It's a very handsome gentleman you have there. Thank you. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And he's flexible, too. Porky, shut up. Why? You watch as a guy reaches over and he grabs a book and it's like an encyclopedia of birds and he begins to flip, like, licks his thumb and begins to flip through the page and goes, blue, oh, a very lovely plumage. Oh. Lovely and he oh, checks it off and he closes it and he puts it away. Oh, I am so uncomfortable right now. Panic is That's why we're sleeping outside, laughing. Greckles. Yeah, so the campground's all yours to use. Um, just make sure to put out your fires. I had a bit of a grass fire last time. Some paladins came through and didn't put it out, so um, please be mindful. Greckles is going to kind of walk up to him. Well, it, Hello. It, it, it seems that you're rather interested in my plumage. Uh, could I possibly... <laughs> Shut, shut up! I'm oh, sorry. I'm, it's I know, a lovely I know. Okay. plumage. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. 
if he wants you, to, uh, he wants to be if you if you might have any uh, rations that we could uh, nibble on for the evening, I would gladly trade one of my best feathers. <gasps> Roll a persuasion check with advantage. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. That's good, man. Fourteen. Okay. Beautiful bird, lovely plumage. Oh, that would be wonderful to actually have a, uh, well, uh, something to use as a bookmark for my book. Um, let me grab you something you can eat. And he kind of hobbles off. And he comes back with a giant basket of eggs and a frying pan. Oh, oh lovely. That nice. is awesome. If you could leave the frying pan uh, on the on the fence, that'd be great. Oh, of course. <laughs> we'll do. No problem. A plumage. Boop. And he rubs his hands together like, yes. Oh. Just here you are. Gave him blue. <laughs> Gave him blue. Thank you. <laughs> Gave him blue. What wonderful blue colors. And he kind of like tucks it in the book and then just closes the door. Like he doesn't even say goodbye. Well, so you, I, I, you guys, I just, I just, you guys, you guys see Greco's walking back to the group with like one arm of just nothing but eggs and then a frying pan in the other hand. Borky, well, Borky. here's dinner. Borky just looks right at Greco's. You whore. You're now one you, to talk. I'm now gonna... you know how I felt with, with every man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get, let's okay, get some so, brush. Okay, now I'm going to get some fucking character development in here. Tass kind of like looks at the frying pan. I get the eggs, but what's with this? Did we you fry them. You, you, you use it to fry food on task. Yeah. What? what, you don't eat the eggs whole? No. Uh, Tass, uh, some of us can't do that. Eh? I mean, I Each his own. Takes an egg and swallows it. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. Oh, that's a little unsettling. Can, 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 can... <laughs> do how it, many just eggs, say how, yes. how many eggs can you fit in your mouth, do you think? I'm gonna roll me a con check. Yeah, yeah go yes, for it. Yes. Oh. Let's not let's not waste Ooh. all the food. No, no. Ta Task will take six eggs at best. Okay, you have six eggs. Roll a con save. Because the worst case scenario, it just dribbles out, and Task, being a lizard, is just like eh. <laughs> Let's go a con save or just con throw. Uh, Constitution saving throw. Save. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. At, eight. Oh. At eight, you get three. The fourth one breaks midway. A piece of eggshell flies out of your mouth as you cough. Mm. Oh, well, I can only get three. Just takes the fourth one and starts biting on it and drinking it. Good <laughs> eggs, though. Like, fresh, <laughs> fresh eggs. I just imagine the tongue going inside the egg. <laughs> Solly this entire time is like, it's like a kid at like a science museum where they watch like the videos of like the animals doing the weird stuff where she's just like... Kind of freaked out, but also like, huh? I would like confused and fascinated. I would like yeah. my I would like my eggs scrambled. Well, I'll sit down and let's it... tell you what, Borky. I'll make your eggs exactly the way you want, but I need some brush and some firewood. And I can set the fire. Mm, okay. Borky gets up and goes and finds firewood. Okay. No, I mean, you're the only one with the axe. <laughs> Yeah, you manage you manage to collect some firewood, and finding some sort of tinder is really easy. It is kind of like a grassy land, um, and with it being summer, a lot of the grass is pretty dry. That's good. And you manage to pile up the fire, and then Solly attempts to do burning hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does Panic do anything when she attempts this? Uh, Greco's will. <laughs> okay. When when she when she casts it. I, I assume it's going. It's not going slide to be the giant. Oh yeah, I got a slide. I got a slide of hand. My my shot. Um, yeah. Twenty four. Okay. Solly goes down and she closes her eyes to focus, and then you just two, and then it just whoosh, erupts into flames. And she opens up and like she opens up her eyes and she just looks like looks at her hand. She goes, "Yes, yes. Oh my God, thank God, thank you guys. God. We're terrible." <laughs> You did. I'm just. I'm waiting for this to blow up in your faces. B Borky's chopping down a tree right now. By the Why? way. Why? Because they said get firewood. We we have it. We have all the firewood we need. What? <laughs> Borky, just get to the fire so you can have your eggs. Okay, I want to wrap oh, up here. I'll be with Jack. 
The tree okay. falls on the man's house. Let's list for fun. <laughs> oh my god. Don't hurt the poor chicken man. He's a simple man with simple needs. I um, okay, Borky comes back after chopping down a tree by half. Okay. Sports, he just kind of like starts putting grass in the part he didn't. <laughs> Ta Task will just watch this egg cooking these oh these uh, these uh surface dwellers do. He's just like, so how does this work, by the way? Well, step one, you take the egg, mm -hmm. crack it open into the pan, yep. you let it cook, you flip it, you let it cook a little more, and you're done. Well, you don't have to do it just like that. Um, I like mine sunny side up, where you just cook it on the one side. Well, how does that work? Uh, you just, uh, and she kind of, she cracks an egg into the pan and it just starts to sizzle. You just kind of leave it like that. And then if you have a, a pot cover, you can just put it on top and it cooks all the way through. Um, I, she just sits down, like, kind of <laughs> awkwardly. <clears throat> hmm. But there are all kinds of ways. You can actually cook it into an omelet if you can fold the yolk over and over again. I prefer mine poached. Everyone just jump in and make your eggs just the way you want them. I need some water first. <laughs> Is there not a palpable water source nearby? There's a I well, can't... but there's nothing to really boil the water in. I'm not going to dunk my eggs into the <laughs> well. <laughs> so I guess I we're just having an, we're having an egg off. Yeah, you guys basically are cooking eggs in all kinds of different ways. And task, it's different. It's definitely has more fanfare to it, but it's good. The smell of cooked eggs is actually not that bad. Yeah, task is just like, okay, this seems a lot more effort than it needs to be, but I guess it's I guess it's still an egg. Hmm. Well, you guys well, dine and and enjoy and oh, sorry. Well, the idea task is to make it taste even better. Huh? Well, I get crazy. That does sound like a surface dweller thing. Well, I want I might get a little bit crazy here, guys. Borky pulls out uh, of his. Uh, is the scrambled? Are the scrambled eggs ready? I guess oh yeah, so. yeah. All yeah, the yeah. eggs are ready at this point. Borky pulls out this that that spare potion that he bought with the anti venom. Oh no! Oh my god! Borky's like so the I'm... actual anti venom or the the question mark spider potion. The question mark spider potion. Okay. What? <laughs> What's wrong? Did he, what? Just go ahead. You're go dumping ahead. a you're you're dumping an, a questionable potion onto your food. Nothing could Literally go wrong. Literally questionable. You know, before do... before Borky decides to pour this on the entire frying pan, I'm going to have Task kind of like give one of these weird fried concoctions to Tarisk. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my eggs out before they get ruined. Sally just watches. Uh, Tarisk laps up the egg like a dog. Like he swallows it. <laughs> just like. <laughs> Just disappears. You get he gets some yolk on his face. Nadine, should I? Nadine, should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I do this? Yes. Should I? Okay. Go ahead. Don't. No. Yes. Yes. That's Too late. I got Go with your heart. Here. Borky starts pouring it on his eggs because I can't have just plain eggs. Got to have some flavor. I got no idea okay. what this is. Borky takes a bite. As you do, the rest of the eggs on the pan begin to forge together. Like they all begin to slide towards one another into a form, which then leaps off the frying pan, sprouts a pair of egg formed legs, turns to you guys, and runs. It looks like a spider and it runs off into the distance. This is a spider egg! Oh, I'm God. taking a shot! <laughs> okay. What just Honey. happened? 17! All right, a father. You, managed, <laughs> you managed to shoot it, but it's like gelatin. So it like slorps around the arrow and just keeps running. You managed to hit one of the yolks, but it's very small. Like it's a very small egg spider. What just happened? Good job, Borky. You ruined dinner. Congratulations, Borky. You're a father. What just happened? Father. Father. <laughs> Solly just like, put, like dips her like tin plate into the fire and the egg just slides off and crashes into the fire. And she kind of puts it down and goes, I think I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> she just kind of rolls over. I take it then you're going to want last watch? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, I guess. What do you think? Right, is... I'll, I'll join you. I'll join you for that Bork, then. Borky just looks out longingly. What do you think it's going to go do now? I hope it doesn't kill someone. I mean, maybe with, maybe a with hilarious song. Maybe with cholesterol. 
Okay, anyways. Borky <laughs> doesn't know what cholesterol is. I don't, I know, is. I was, it was, it was, I know he doesn't, I know he doesn't. <laughs> you heard that oh. from Ty Borpington, you don't know what it means, don't you? Like, she, she has to worry about his. I don't know what oh. it is, but I will defeat it so I can't hurt him. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great song title, The Cholesterol Killer. Who's taking first watch? I guess I will. All right, cool. Uh, I'll just stay for the sake of brevity. Um, the watches are basically uneventful. You're in a fairly safe place. Um, you do notice panic on your watch. You do notice a crow perched with a bit of egg in its mouth. <laughs> and the egg bit is quivering. Oh. <laughs> the crow just swallows it. Hey, Kyo ah! Kyo, no! Egg flies away. Egg Kyo Kyo! Borky Jr., no. Spied Egg Kyo Kyo, no. <laughs> um, at the end of the watch, it's Solly and Greckles. Um... Greckles, once you and Solly wake up, Solly begins to take off her armor. Uh, should you really be doing that right now? Yes, absolutely. She seems kind of shaken. What's what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Uh, tell me about it. I think someone really bad is in Alavast, or at least very close. So it might be best if I don't wear this right now. Who might be with us, or who might who might be nearby? Paladins of Warren. Who told you this? Solar. Uh. Hey, refresh my memory. Solar is her Ooh. celestial parent. Oh, okay. Space, yeah. It's it's God Dad. Uh, okay. <clears throat> More like Angel Dad, I guess. What did what what specifically did they tell you? It's never usually specific. It's just like a vision or something. A vision. A sight from a distance of a place. I saw horses, Orin stallions, and tents. And I think I saw the wall of Alabast. I think. Do you think they might be on to you? Or they're here to spread their will, both of which are very bad. She kind of turns and she looks at Task. What else would they do? to the townsfolk. Well, they can't do anything with the council in power, but they try to police and govern, which doesn't always work out. I have it, a feeling that Alvas is too big for them to take over. Yeah, but still, if they're here, well, they think they're the law, and people who think they're the law are dangerous. Well, then maybe first thing we need to do is talk to Brorik. Uh, it's your kind of gritter teeth about the paladins. He's from a different order. He is. He's from Avon, and the Orin United Clergy doesn't like Avon very much. It's interesting, too, because apparently he's looking for you. But, uh. but, but that being said, he owes us a great deal. And if he, and if his order is no fan of Orin, well, he might just take our side instead. Maybe. I don't want to rush into anything. Greckles, please. No, it's completely fine, but we do have to be prepared. Exactly. And she kind of digs through Borky's bag of holding and starts to kind of, <laughs> like, she pulls out the clothes uh, that Task had. Mm -hmm. uh, she, like, does the same kind of hood thing. Um, and then she uh, kind of pulls out a bag. She's got this bag tacked to the inside of the armor. She pulls out and she begins to like shove the armor into this bag. It's almost like a carrying case, like a weird burlap sack. And as she's doing that, the rest of you guys begin to wake up. All right. Well, everyone, we're awake. Everyone group huddle. Oh, uh, what happened? Oh, uh, let Borky do his thing first. No, no, no. I get it out of the way. I'll, I can wait. No, get it out of the way. We got a lot to talk about. I just, I, I feel, I feel like you're all expecting it now. Bork, Borky's just like <laughs> shaking like a chihuahua, waiting until he can do it. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You just do yours. All right, Task is gonna go ahead and just put the frying pan back on the fence, like the guy said. Yep, there's actually a hook there, and you just kind of hook it on. Yep. Well, it seems. It's time so to get Orky. It's time to get Borky. I punch him. Oh, oh. Some dual, no, some dual damage punch right now. <laughs> okay. Right now. Right the F now.
<laughs> 11 plus, I guess, strength mod, which is nothing. Yeah, you punch him in the kneecap. He doesn't feel it. Uh, I felt oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> So. Okay, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one better. I'm actually going to freaking. Where is that at? Give me a second. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna minor illusion a spider on his face. Oh. Okay. What's your spell save DC? Uh, twelve. Okay, Borky, roll a. Uh, what would this be? I think it's a perception check for an illusion. Or, oh, investigation uh, check. Yeah, that's it's an investigation check. Oh boy, there negative one. Let's see this work. All right. Let's, let's go. You have to beat a twelve. No. <laughs> a three. There is a spider on your shoulder, and it's huge. Borky's shoulder just jumps in the air and just la lands his shoulder on the ground. <laughs> and you get grass all over you. And starts spinning in circles. You're doing the curly shuffle right now. Yes, I am. <laughs> Trying to get off. Get it 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 off. Now with that out of the way, Task, we might have a big problem. Of course we do, because we haven't reached town yet, so what's wrong? Oh, it's worse than that. Uh, we may not want to go into town too quickly. It, it, Solly kind of grows up and kind of pats you on the shoulder. It should be okay. We should just be careful on the outskirts. And, um, Tess, do you have a robe that you could wear? A robe? I... Uh, the order, the order's nearby. Yeah, they might be visiting. What order? Remember, Task didn't hear that little story. Um, you guys kept that a secret. Solly kind of presses her hands together because, yeah, you guys haven't. And she kind of turns and goes, have you never heard of the United Clergy of Orin? No, that's a surface dweller thing. Yeah, yeah and it's only a surface dweller thing. Um, let me just make this really simple. They don't like kobolds. They don't like anyone who dwells in the Underdark. They hate rogues. They hate anyone who works in the shadows or the dark. Um, if they see you... I can't guarantee your safety. Hmm. All right, then I'll be picking fight with paladins. Ah, uh, she kind of like looks so worried. Like, I, I really don't think that's a good idea, Task. Depending on where they are, Task, if they're inside of town, we got nothing to worry about. Exactly. But if, but if they're outside of town, it might be good to sneak around. How do they feel about orcs who are scared of spiders? Well, you're a surface dweller, and as long as you don't go into a house during midday sun, you're fine. What? That's really specific. What if I really... Well, the only thing I had was the halfling clothes that you're using as a hood. So right. give me a second. Task walks over to the front door. Knocks. And you watch as the door opens, and the chicken man is currently holding the, uh, like arms full, like the limes guy. Like, I can't hold all these limes. He said he's got chicks in his head. He goes, yes. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I actually need a spare of human-sized clothes. How much would that be worth to you? Oh, and like one of the chickens like falls and like flunks to the ground. Task and then catches kind of it. You catch it. Okay, roll a reflex check. Or uh, uh, not reflex, dexterity check. Sorry. Pathfinder. Yeah, 10. Okay. You manage to like kind of grab it, you clip it, and you kind of soften the fall, but it still like kind of slips between your fingers and clunks to the ground and Aww. cheeps excitedly and scampers off. He's like, Dennis! Okay, well, he just kind of lets loose all the chicks onto the ground. They all scatter like croc, you know, like little bugs or oh something. My God. <laughs> oh my and God. he goes over and he grabs a really dusty coat, like really old. It's more patch than coat. And he goes, I got this. That'll do. Can I have another one of your friend's feathers for it? Sure. Bing! <sighs> there you go. Yes! And he takes it, he just hands you the jacket and just slams the door closed while keeping eye contact on the feather. This is like the fifth time I've removed plumage to make someone happy. You're starting to bald, yeah. yeah I know! Growing a big bald spot. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you have a nice day. We'll be on our way now. The door was already closed. The moment he got the feather, he did not care anymore. I don't want to know what he's doing with that feather. I'm putting this on. <laughs> okay. Something, something it weird, something, smells... Something, something, something interesting. Probably. Let me guess. It smells like chicken. It smells like chicken. It also smells like really dry, caked on mud. It's actually pretty stiff in terms of fabric. It looks like he definitely uses this out in the fields and potentially is, I don't know, roll around in it or something. Who knows? Well, to, to be fair, as long as it's human size, that means that it's bigger than me, which means that if I just wrap my tail around my waist, I could conceal most of myself. You know, okay. you could have just worn my shirt. I could have just worn a shirt. 
Um, doesn't it need some, well, kind of Sully kind of like waves her finger on. It needs a little bit of sewing patchwork. You look great. Panic, panic <laughs> looks down at his shirt and, and sees it all like tattered and destroyed from the lightning damage. And he's like, oh yeah, never mind then. Yeah, it's a good look for you. Sully kind of gives you a thumbs up. Well, without further ado, let's get to town. I have a lot of things I need to take care of. Sounds good. All right, so you guys head out. You guys make your way to the outskirts of the tent town, keeping your eyes out very diligently. Um, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Uh, you do notice, however, that in terms of the people who you're used to seeing around tent town, it's usually a very bustling place. You know, it's where a lot of new adventurers come to get their first jobs. There's not as many people out right now. And the tavern that's usually bouncing, pretty quiet. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Why are I say, is, 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 is there anyone? Is there anyone immediately around that we can talk to? Uh, you see a dwarven guy with like this really nice bronze helmet, and he's kind of you know chewing the fat. He's kind of like getting his uh, his pipe ready. He's kind of pushing the tobacco into his pipe. Excuse me, friend. Do you have a moment? I. What happened? This place used to be such a bustle of activity. Oh, a bunch of scared dogs running with their tail between their legs. One sight of the Oren clergy and other mountain dwarves go fleeing. Pathetic. Oh, where, where did you see where the, the order went? Yeah, I heard they're here and they're going to see that, uh, what's his name? The orc fella, the, the one that's got the bronze hair. Ah, uh, Broerick. Yeah, apparently they've been trying to get on island for a while and finally scheduled some sort of meeting. Don't know what it's about, but ugh, he spits on the ground. Hate them Oren clerks. Yeah, we're not big fans of them either. Yeah, they're doing pissing on us. Mountain dwarves worship the ground at the hill dwarves. Walk upon, but not us. We're proper folk. We can forge with the best of them. But apparently liking just fire ain't enough for the likes of them. Hmm. Do you have any other comrades that feel the same about them? I've got a few, but you want to talk to anybody, you talk to the people from that little human settlement across the water there. What was the place called? Par Pata, never been there. Not my interest. What's it called? And Sally kind of sets her Periton. Aye, Periton. Lots of dwarves there hate them from Periton. That's where they reside. That's where their big capital temples from. Interesting. He begins to kind of light the the pipe with the with the match. Well, I thank you for your information, my good man. And I just slip him a a, a quick gold piece. All right, gold for a dwarf. You know us well. He gives you a wink. I like good information. You provided plenty. Yeah, provide me more gold coins. I'll give you more. Really now? Here. And, he, and I slip him another five. Ooh, generous man. Careful. Don't want to be carrying too much gold around here with that much money. Oh, don't worry. I have ways of keeping my funds hidden. So well, tell me. So, so tell me everything you know. Everything? Well, no, not everything, but about everything. the about the about the, <laughs> about the order. What what happened? Did they make some kind of decree? Did, did they just move through? I don't know. They said they need to talk about something important. Nah, who knows? That could be anything. It could be that none of people are praising the sun, or I don't know. They want to govern us. They've been spreading like a disease through some of the other lands. Luckily, most people are smart enough to kick them out. Do you think you and your brethren would rise against them if they try to start anything? Who's to say I would already have it? He gives you a wink. Interesting. Could I possibly get a little information? I'll slip him another gold. I'm uh, from the coast of the Altmer region. I'm sure you heard of it. The uh, Altmer uh, kingdom was overtaken by the uh, the Silver King, the dragon. Aye? Aye. Aye. They tried to make their coast there. Plenty of mountain dwarves there. We got a cave leading into the Underforge. Interesting. Anyway, they came in, told us our for forge fires had to be brighter, or at the very least, we had to go out into the sun at least once a week. I'm sure you can imagine how we dwarves thought of that sort of decree. Well, I bet you just kicked them out in a dr <laughs> Aye, we did. Since then, though, <laughs> not, not quite the fans of us, as you can imagine. Not fans of tieflings. They see it, kill them on sight, drow, uh, any other thing. Wait, dial it back. What? 
<laughs> they don't like kobolds, drow, tieflings, or uh, what's the other one? The ones that hang out on the ground. I can't remember. Oh, gnolls. Not a fan of gnolls or goblins or ogres. Sometimes orcs if they live in caves. Goliath's not a big fan. They really don't like a whole lot of people uh, if you're not getting the drift. It seems surprising then that their influence would spread so far. There's lots of humans. As long as there are lots of humans uh, and they're, but they're all easy cold. to control. I bet they're all called Steven and Chad. What's up with the names of the humans? I heard I heard there's this one yeah. name, yeah. Bob. Oh, what? That's what you do in the water. Uh, that's, that's what you do. Exactly, that's what you do in the water. Who the hell calls their kid Bob? Right? An asshole. Ridiculous. Mothers hating their children, I tell you. Anyway, that's all about to know about the Orin, uh, the Orin clergy. You know, they like to stick their nose in people's business when they ought to not. But uh, yeah, keep a good will about yourself and you don't have to worry. But uh, be mindful. They're uh, trigger-happy folk. Be sooner to pull out a sword than defend a person if you catch my drift. Mm. I do. I appreciate that information. Kill hey. tieflings on sight. Yeah. Hey. Pe- oh. If only you had my- a manager. He, he looks at his tattered, shirt. He looks at that in his tattered clothes. Oh, I mean that's my, only what I heard. My I mean, smooth rippling body is all exposed. Look, don't get ahead of yourself, there, son. You got some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I beg your fucking pardon. Can we go now? God, you are just the anti-dwarf character. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Well, that's good. We need an elf in this party. Oh boy! All right. Well, th- thank you for the information, good sir. If I if if you find any more information, you can, if you don't mind, swinging by the Sweet Dragon Tavern. If you have more information, there's plenty more gold that we oh, got. Oh, I have heard of that place. Oh, sure. I we run it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's left across from uh, Ben's little uh, horseshoery there. Aye. Yeah, it's a nice man. He says it's a decent enough place. He says he saw an orc woman the size of a mountain in there. That's our uh, bartender. Yeah. That's our barkeep. Oh. Yeah, Good character. She's she, she's only there temporarily. Borky, be quiet. No, she's not. Oh. Well, I'll have to pop in and get myself a, a pint one of these days. Anyhow, I got to meet up with my mercenary group. Got to head westward. Anyway, take care. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch your name. Oh, my name. Ord. 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 Sticks o- out his hand. Or Ard. I stick I stick out I stick out my, my claw. The name's Greckles. That's a weird name, but I'll accept it. And he gives you like the most firm, like handshake, like man handshake you've ever At gotten. Least it's not Bob. Uh, he laughs and points to you, Task. I will let you on your way. Thanks again. Yeah, take care. Oh man, Bob, what a terrible man. <laughs> <He's kind of laughs> <so cool. laughs> All right, gentlemen, like... we have a little bit more information going into this. More like half pint, drunken wretch. Hi, 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 hi. Yes. I, just, I don't know, just saying hi. You know, just reminding you. What's going on? Yeah, let's let's go. <laughs> All right. You guys manage to make your way in through Alabast. You guys show your abacus tickets. Um, and you guys make your way inside. And relatively, despite the outside tent tout, most of the, like, the inside is unchanged. People are bustling. People are moving around. Um, there's a decent amount of noise. Um... And it's hot. It's very hot. So a lot of people are kind of sitting in the shade and relaxing. Oh, good. I can get rid of these stupid clothes. Take them off. Uh, immediately, Solly grabs them and shoves them back on. <laughs> Just, I, oh, sorry. I, sorry. Are you okay? You poked me in the eye. I didn't. Sorry. I'm used to having the gauntlets on. Um, Just maybe keep that on until we're inside of a, a building. Just in case. Are you Let's telling just, me I can't, I have to wear this every time I walk outside? Just temporarily. Let's just get to the Sweet Dragon Tavern. We'll we'll figure it out from there. Well, shouldn't we instead, Son how about bitch. instead we go to the, how we go report in our task? We got done to the boss. Oh wait, no, we did it at the board. Why? How does this work? Who do we, who do we say we did a good job to? That actually is a halfway decent thing. We check, let's check the, uh, what the hell is it called? Sorry. Uh, let's check the uh, quest that we got the, on the All ticket. Right. Uh, you are to report to Gord Richfane. All right, well, I have most of the spider stuff, so we're going to have to take... I'm going to have to go with this. All right, I'll go with him. Uh... I need to change my clothes. 
Are you guys going to go to the Sweet Dragon first? You're going to go straight there. I mean, I feel like when we get to the Sweet Dragon, there'll be lots of shenanigans going on. So let's let's go with them. Yeah. First. Okay. Let's get our reward first. All right, for the sake of brevity, uh, you guys make your way in, basically into a dwarven guild hall. Um, and Ooh. you enter, and it's very, like, hardy. Like, the building is built strong with very good, like, iron bolts to it. Oh, wow. And right. you enter in, and you see a bunch of dwarves just running around, and they're, like, you know, they have papers in their hand, and they're talking, like, you know, stock. They're talking this and that, and they're kind of taking counts of supplies and things like that. And you see... One dwarf wearing a very nice vest with kind of a gold trim to it. And he's got a pair of glasses and just the most big, bushy, braided beard. Um, he's got two earrings in either ear as well. Like, these big, ring-looped earrings. And he sees you guys enter. Hail. Hail. Yeah. Uh, were you the one who issued uh, this quest? Task oh, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Come here, come here, come here, come here. And he pulls out a form and he puts it on the ground. He says, so you must be task. And he points to um, panic. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Some people think, some people think to seem. No friend. To I'm so. task. Oh, okay. Task. Uh, Borky the orc. I'm assuming that's you. And yes. he points to you, Borky. That is me. Uh, Greckle's bird fellow. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and panic. I, that's odd name. Nice to meet you. Um, no, I'm and... Task. Oh. <laughs> shut, shut up. Shut Apologies, up. Apologies, sir. And he's Taurus. They... Say hello, Taurus. Oh. <laughs> okay. Coughs a cupcake. He kind of like pets Taurus like very gingerly. Very nice dog. Um. <clears throat> anyway, and he stacks out some papers. Um. He kind of leans over. Don't remember there being a fifth on the list, but um. And Sally kind of puts up her hands like, no, 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 no. I'm just um. I'm. Uh, messenger. And she's gonna lie. She's a bad liar. Oh, okay, apparently not that bad. And he kind of shrugs. He doesn't really care. All right, well, <laughs> here's your payment agreed. Looks like, and he looks closely at the, uh, the contract. Yep, everything seems to be in order. Any pieces are yours to keep. Just wanted them, wanted them cleared out. Aye, and uh, about your friends over at the township that you oh. couldn't get any information about. How's Emmett doing? Well, uh... I'm going to give you this piece of- I'm going to give you this letter he told me- Was that the letter he wanted me to hand off? Uh, yeah. Yep, so here's a letter. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to believe our story, but maybe this letter will give some clarity. Certainly. I've heard of crazy things. Harpies. Things that have multiple heads. <laughs> then, then you heard of a multi-dimension shifting dog? No. Then you're about to hear a story. It's pretty crazy. Okay, it's, it's he taps a, the letter. <laughs> it's a bitch of a story, let me tell you. All right, well, I'll give it a read later. And, uh, all right, well, that means then he signs, and you guys see it on your contracts as he signs it, your additional gold added uh, so, as well. So, what so, in total, each of you guys earned 2,500 gold pieces each. Oh, nice. damn. 3103. And then additional payment upon doing the additional mission, you guys gain 500 gold pieces on top of that. I'm fucking loaded. <laughs> Damn. And including that, you guys get 2,600 Alavastian credits. Okay. 20, How much do we have in total tally now? Um, luckily, that 20, wasn't that'd be, that'd be 27 then, because we had the 100 we never used. Yeah. So you guys have twenty seven thousand. Oh, that's the old inventory. Hundred. Yeah. Then we could have the lively debate. Uh, twenty seven, and then for each of you individually, you gain an additional one hundred Alabastian credits per warrior. So that's four of you guys. Yeah. Mm. So that's another four hundred. Oh wow! So we have three. Thousand. That's thirty one. So you guys have thirty one thousand Alabastian credits. Yeah. Hot dog. Oh my. And he hands that to you, and he gives you basically. He takes another form, which is your Alavastian credits. He marks them down. He turns. He says Alavastian credits as part of the Dwarven Architectural Guild, and he gives it a big stamp, like it's just like it makes the entire desk shake, and that it just poofs away. There you are. Pleasure doing business. If you ever see one of our quests on the boards, be sure to pick it up again. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your business. Thank you very much for your pie charge. Uh, Task, while I'm thinking about it, do you mind if I have a couple of those, couple of vials of that poison? Poison? 
Uh, let's see. Let me look through my thing. You had over here. Ben three, I believe. Somewhere oh. between three and five. Oh yes, that's that's correct. Okay, let me let me just. Yeah, th I have three large venom sacks. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna oh, go through the thing. I was about to say we didn't squeeze them out, did we? No, we didn't. I did, oh, I, okay. I, I didn't I didn't take the venom out of it. Oh wait, no, two tiny venom sacks. Oh wait, no, and then three large venom sacks. So yeah, we don't have any of the venom out of the sacks, but we have the sacks. Okay, yeah. never mind. Never mind. I I thought we I thought we already squeezed it, but never mind. Yeah, no, we didn't we didn't milk them out. We just got this shit. All right. We should probably go get rid of all these spider parts and get stuff created. We should, but let's go home first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys make your way to the crafting district, uh, just as you always remember it, very bustling. Um, and you actually see, as you make your way to the Sweet Dragon, you see Big Guy, the construct, working with Ben, who's the blacksmith, the horseshoeman. And you watch as Ben is basically teaching uh, Big Guy how to make a horseshoe. And you watch mm -hmm. as they're working next to a horse. And you watch as Big Guy lifts up the horse leg and puts the horseshoe in, and the horse just kicks Big Guy in his face, like the head. And he watches his head goes flying across the ground and rattles. And Big Guy just gets up, walks over, picks up his own head, and just sticks it back, and then walks over, sits back down, and goes back to what he's doing. And Ben's just shaking his head like, oh, my God. <laughs> well, uh, if, oh, anyth okay. if anything, you got to admire him for his persistence. Uh, as you guys approach the front of the Sweet Dragon, you notice a multitude of things. First of all, it looks like the place has had life breathed into it. The swinging on one chain prancing Pegasus sign has been removed. It's gone. Um, there's nothing there currently, um, but it does look better. It looks like the entire French porch has been cleared out. There were like old barrels and crates and like just covered in dust and dirt and grime. They're completely gone, cleared out, and the entire front porch is clean. You also notice hanging underneath each window is a lovely little planter with some little flowering shrubs in them, like some really nice quaint flowers. The windows flowers. you can actually see through, and the door, like knobs and everything, looks polished. It looks really clean. Hmm. Very and nice. And you, you do see, uh, um, oh shoot, I forgot her name. How did I forget her name? I'm sorry. That's okay, because I had it written down, but D20 kind of rolled back on that. Bell. I'm so sorry, Bell. Vel's there. Vel's there, arms crossed, leaning up against the, beside the door. Just kind of notice you guys come up. Hey. Ah, uh, hello there. It's uh, been quite a few days. Mm. It's been quite an adventure. Yes, it has been. What now I can get rid of it. This task looks so solid. Now can I take off these clothes? Um, yes. She kind of like just... Thank God oh. he just throws it off to the side. Vel, you should have been here. We turned into dogs. It was crazy. Pats her on the shoulder and walks inside. Okay. She just kind of looks forward, just like, eh, I'm not even going to ask. Uh, gentlemen, there's one thing I might need to take care of, and I might need your help. What's that? Still have it, he came to me in a dream, similar to how he came into a dream asking what you wanted to ask. Oh, cool. What did he destroy of yours? Possibly my swords. I have no idea what to expect in my room, but I would like to take care of that matter first so I know everything is safe. Okay, while you check on your swords, I'm going to go get changed. All right, you guys walk in, and immediately there's people in the tavern. Not a lot, but there are people. Um, you see Helga working the front counter. Uh, she's currently cleaning a glass. And you see Meryl, the maid you guys hired. Uh, she's currently sitting at one of the tables with like a bunch of books laid out, and she's like totally like 100% focused. Ah, oh, good. She's studious. And oh. you also manage to duck out of the way just as Scarbles the mistress just kind of turns the car and is like, get out of my way! And she kind of like moves with like two tankards in her hand. And she runs up to two dwarves currently drinking at one of the tables and just slams them down. I actually want to go up to Helga just for, for a quick conversation, if that's okay. Okay. Helga, you gotta, do you have a moment? Oh, she kind of like just stops and just... <laughs> <laughs> I suppose with break from you, some time would be necessary. What would you need, Birdman? Charming as always. Look, have there been any men from the Order of Orin coming into the tavern at all? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what? Uh, paladins, clerics, procra pro uh, proclaiming uh, the word of Orin. Not word of Orin, but uh, she points to Salvador, who's currently sulking in the corner with like a tankard. 
<laughs> that one talks about death like it's his big adventure. Kind oh. of creepy. I just imagine Borky looking over his shoulder. Oh, Jesus Christ. With his hand on his chest. He's just always scared when he sees him. Look, Helga, I know you don't like a lot of us, but I do have a favor I need to ask of you. I need she, you. like, drops the glass, puts one elbow on the counter, and rests her hands on, like, rests her head on her hands. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> the clergy of Orin might be looking for her, and I, I, I point over uh, to Sully. If the, any of them come in here, I just need to be sure to know that you're going to be able to throw them right back out. I break legs first, then I break hands, then elbow. That's I like this order. I expect nothing less of you. Borky's just leaning on the, the counter. That's amazing. And you know what? Borky pulls out the bag. You've just been so amazing here. I just really feel like you've earned something. We actually got uh, some amazing equipment while we were gone. And we received these amazing boots that make you be a better bartender. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Roll that lie, buddy. Roll yeah, that roll a lie. deception. I gotta grab your employees sheet I'm, here. I'm sorry, but not not only not 13. only was your approach a fumble, 13. but boy, you better catch this fucking ball or it's gonna look like garbage. Jesus. Okay. I mean, she'd have to roll in that like a really low roll. Ah, that's a 15 plus seven. That's a 22. I'm kidding. She you. narrows her eyes at you. Yeah. Oh yes, I remember. I fought you in Fight Pit. I thought <laughs> I was just killing Bug. Porky's like, you know what? You don't deserve these magical dancing boots. And Porky puts them in the bag. <laughs> you don't deserve this big Toblerone. You don't deserve the big Toblerone. Um, as you panic, as you start to make your way up the stairs, Helga turns and goes, Hey. Mm. Tiefling man, come here. I must speak with you. And it slowly <laughs> walks down the stairs with all of his tatteredness and most of his skin exposed. Just walks up to Helga and just hand on the hip. Yes. You look like a man dragged through forest. Nah. I was dragged through forest. Fair enough. She looks to the rest of you. The rest of you can go. What? Why are we taking orders from her? She's not our boss as Borky leaves. Uh, guys, can we take care of the thing possibly in the room? <laughs> All right, task ready, says Bo, and heads up. I'll take care of this. I need to do some managerial stuff or something. What, what's this about? You remember when I say you owe me drink many moons ago? Yes. Helga is redeeming now, but for a different reason. Okay. She, what? she turns over to Meryl, who currently looks like she's about to, like, her head's about to explode. Which one's Meryl again? Is Meryl, Meryl is your 16-year-old uh, right. maid. Yeah, she's the maid. The, the girl who yeah. I gave 500 bucks for, uh, for her to get her education. Okay. She is struggling like orc men in fight pit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do not need another pathetic sight in my life. Please go solve. Okay. Look, and she puts a very stern hand on your shoulder. Between the lizard man, who has giant lizard, between orc man, who is dumb, and bird, who sleeps in the room with girl without breaking legs, you are the <coughs> smartest one. Which isn't that hard. Competition, <laughs> not so great. Oh my god! I mean, fair enough. All right, can I at least get changed first? She kind of, like, looks down at your abs. Yes. Scarbles! I have other round for you. Panic. And you guys begin to Panic saunter to go get changed. All right, so let's go to my room and figure out what the heck may have happened with my swords. Okay. You're so I'm going to... You're in I'm front gonna, of I'm your gonna, room. <laughs> I'm going to slowly open that door and look into where I've, where I've got the my, uh... My two wakazashi's just like sitting on a mantle. You see, you see an eye peer in, just like looking back and forth, like bird rapidly. Like look up and down, swivel your head. Yeah, pretty they, much. They're out. There are they in a shelf or are they outside? Did you they're outside? they're they're outside. They would be they would be in like a sword rack, for lack of okay. a better way to describe it. They're there. 
I'm gonna ma I'm gonna mage hand to try and grab one of the two. Okay, you grab one with your mage hand and just drag it across the ground and ting ting. I go to just touch it with a finger. You poke it. It's cold steel. I grasp it. Nothing changed. I unsheath it. Nothing changed. Same blade. Not a single inch of a difference. Not a scratch. Interesting. I wouldn't swing and hit someone with that. My, for nah. all we know, it could be cursed. Uh, I agree with that. Uh, sheath it back up and put it back on the pedestal. Okay. It might be a good idea to try and take these to someone who might be able to have a look over of them. There's a frantic knock at the lion head door where your guys' bedrooms are. Uh, we just go out into answered, I suppose. Yep, why not? Oh, it's Ty Borpington. Hello! Oh, oh welcome home! Mr. Borpington! Borky gives him a oh, giant hug. Borky. Oh, Borky! He gives you a big hug, and he kind of, like, hugs you. Mwah! I love oh, this! Oh, don't kiss that! You may want to wash out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, please. A bunch, we... of, a bunch of scales in his mouth. <laughs> I'm bleeding! Oh, I... <laughs> So oh, Helga, the horrifyingly terrifying orc woman, told me you've returned, which is great. My kitchen is done. It's wonderful. And you have just gotten back, so I need to rustle up something for you to eat. How does that sound? It sounds so great, Mr. Borpington. Excellent. Well, I will make, hmm, what will I make for lunch? I could make the noodle soup, or I could make a roast. Ooh. I'm going to go address the elephant in the room. Uh, Salvador, right? That was his name? He's here. Yeah. Oh, I'll yes, the horrifying him. vulture man. Yeah, he's scary. Don't watch him eat. It, it, it is the thing of nightmares. <laughs> Task, I'll go with you. All right, so head on downstairs, because after that, then go talk to... Oh, uh, what about what? food? I guess they don't care. No, 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 Borky, no, no, what no. would you like? I'm going to tell you right now. Yes. Cook eggs, I guess. No, I... no, no. Here's what we do. You get some meat, right? Okay. I want you, I want you to like put flavor on it, right? I can do that. I just make sure it doesn't turn into a spider, though. <laughs> oh, that happened. well. It happened last meal. It was weird. It's fine. I, are you saying that because of the head thing, or is that... I mean, it's not contagious. No, no, I no, no, should... I don't, no, I don't say it. No, it's fine. No, no, oh. I'm, okay. You had to be there for it. Anyways, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'll okay, you, oh, yes, let's go. And he kind of... He goes down the stairs and he trips and he falls. Oh, oh no, please. Can, can you both just go off to see the wizard down the fucking staircase? That's literally what's happening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Excellent. I will make meat that doesn't turn into a spider. Exactly. That goes is into my the only kitchen. specifics. Okay. Right, well, let's go ahead and I, Task is going to just approach Salvador. Same. Hello. Greetings. May I? Uh, we have been gone for quite some time. May I ask how long? Could you cut out there? Son of a bitch! Hold on. Hello. Hello. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, we've been gone for quite some time. May I ask how long you've been a patron here? Uh, I've been a patron here since Hala was a patron here. We get beers every once in a while. I like the place. It's dark. And people could die. <clears throat> that goes with anyone, actually. But, case in point, I may be opening old wounds with this, but you hold no ill will against our little bout, yes? Nah, I would have been more content if I killed you. No ill will there. But, uh, nah, it's a fight pit. What happens in a fight pit? Stays in a fight pit. I'm glad you see that very professionally. It's nice to see Val again, too. Honestly, I'm glad we got fired. That uh, Stan guy, eh, he's a piece of shit. He just takes a swig of his drink. Well, if you want to kill some more people, we got the quest board over there for you to find some new work. Yeah, Hella and I actually got back from a job recently on that. What job? Uh, one for the Hoketh clergy. I don't mean to pry, but what was that about? I was actually kind of interested in that job. Uh, grave robbings. Turns out there was an evil cold, giant ghost. Uh, Hala hasn't slept for about three days. 
scary things, but lots of corpses. Mm -hmm. He just grins. Speaking oh. of speaking of death, we actually came across a oh. uh, a wonderful, horrible place of death, didn't we, Task? Aye, we did. We uh met a friendly little wraith that got a little too close to us <gasps> and almost ebbed our life away. Go on. Uh, what's the name of the event that happened because of the Asmar? Uh, ch -ch 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 um, that was Ginter's way, way back. Folly. Yeah, Ginter's Folly. Ginter's Folly, we kind of walk through Ginter's Folly. Oh. Yeah, that place sucks. The corpses don't have any meat on them. At least nothing you can eat. We notice something possessing a bunch of creatures, or at least, like, farm tools, last we saw. I took an aim at it with my arrow when it kind of just, like, dug into the earth like a worm. And it was mm. the skeleton creature. Do you know anything about, like, I don't know, vengeful wraiths that may still linger around there? Definitely know about vengeful wraiths, banshees, those sorts of things. Really fascinating. But sometimes something bound to the ethereal plane is very resistant. Hmm. So unfortunately, you wouldn't know any such way to, I don't know, maybe get rid of it or find some way to counteract it? Nah. Mm, a fun experiment to play with some other time. Kind of tilts his head side to side. Storm There's no food in it, so no. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, and the next round's on us. Ah, I like you guys. I guess we'll just make our way back to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, so, no, so before I go, Tass is gonna, like, take a hand out to shake. Mm. Careful. And he gives you a handshake, kind of referencing the necrotic touch he kind of did to panic, kind of gives you a shake. Very hearty, clawed hand, like, large talons. Tass, Tass kind of, like, smiles and just goes, oh, don't worry, I have something to take care of that, if you were trying to be tricky about it, and his hand glows blue. <laughs> and he sits back and continues to enjoy his drink. Uh, panic. Meryl is currently sitting at a table. Uh, yeah, uh, Panic comes down with his, his new change of clothes. Looks exactly the same. <laughs> sorry, give me one... Happen. Sorry, guys, give me one sec real quick. We're going to take a quick two-minute bio, guys. Two-minute bio break, That's guys. That's a good idea. All right. Yeah. Two, yeah, two, minute about, two minute about. Two minute about. Be right back. We leave you in the capable right, hands right of a hungry boy. Sorry, guys. I'm back. Hello. Uh oh. Hello. Hello? Hello? Did, did people get up and leave? Oh, I hear Gaijin. Sorry, I sat back down. Oh, okay, you guys all left. Okay, I was like, I got back to silence and I was like, hello? <laughs> no, 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 we went to go take a two minute bio break. Okay, oh. <laughs> Sir, Sir Malvert's like, don't worry, they took a bathroom break. And I was like, hello? <laughs> <laughs> I love fishes because they're so delicious. Gone uh, go fishing. Oh, okay. Hey, man, I need. You said bio break. I need me some fun. Man, we need to. You know what? I I, I kind of want you to just walk around town without anything like hidden on, just so we can run into these a holes. Because we're, because we're still well known within the town for saving it multiple times now. Yeah, I. That's why I was just like, why do I need to not? Why do I need to keep myself clothed? I'm sure a lot of people in this town can vouch for me, except for a bunch of schmucks who come in spouting the word of God. Yeah, so I, I think at this point I wouldn't worry too much about it. Because we got, we got guards around, they know us. Oh boy, oh boy. What's wrong? Is, is Snack back? I uh, don't think so. No, <laughs> Snack, yeah. Our people were feeding feeding the best boy for a while, for a while there. Got my ants look jiggling. Someone says in chat. So I'm really loving that everyone loves the layout. By the way, like it really makes me happy. It's it's so cute. You're just watching. Tara's <laughs> just 
He he goes from curious to di to distressed by the way his eye moves. It's like ha. Oh. <laughs> it just makes me really happy I, people like it because like I mean I was holding off on getting one for a while and just finally it bit the bullet and decided on a design. I gotta say, Eugene, I was I was relatively uncomfortable with Chicken Man. I was very scared. <laughs> I honestly, I, I kind of, I was hoping that in the middle of the night, all of a sudden, just be like, the, the Greckles looks over and just sees him with binoculars looking at him through a corner of the window. <laughs> or like he's, or like he's trying to take one of my freaking feathers. No, see, now, unfortunately, because I play stupid indie games, when you said Chicken Man, I was hoping you were making a Chicken Man reference to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and he just oh, wiggles man. about. Like, I don't. I don't know that, so no. You don't? Okay, no, good. Then you have a fucking Google search to look at. No, okay. Now you, know, now you know what panic felt when he met every man. Yeah. All right, oh, we're good to go. All right, Alrighty. Go. Uh, Get close to that mic, Sanail. I'm sorry. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, panic, you see Meryl currently with like three books laid out and like a really nice notebook and a quill and ink, and she's currently like. Her fingers are pressed to her temple, and she's just like, mm. Panic takes a seat across from her at the table. Uh, oh, uh, hello. It's hey, been some time. Yes, oh, has. you're back. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't notice. I heard Helga talking to someone, but I thought it was Vel. Um, hi. How's it going? Uh, the Helga told me you've got some, uh, some stuff going on. What's all that about? Oh, um, I just... Our assignment is we're supposed to write our names, but I don't know. Something about it's not right. And you see, like, on her notebook is, like, her name, but spelt, like, five different ways, all incorrectly. Hmm. Um, I don't know if you happen to remember how it was spelt on my application. I do. Um, and Panic uh, sets the paper in front of her and grabs her, uh, assume she's using a quill or something? Yeah, she's in the quill. Yeah, and, uh, Panic will uh, make sure she's watching, and then he writes writes the M carefully. Oh, your penmanship's lovely. Thank you. And uh, he he just uh, spells out her name. He doesn't he doesn't like do any flourishes or like cursive or anything like that. He just spells her name. Script in comic Ma font, I suppose. Mariel. Mariel. Mariel, that that's no, that can't be right. Well, that that's how it's spelled, but uh, it, how it's pronounced is a different thing. Like, uh, uh, I need to think of some examples. Uh, like C. Yeah, like cat, and um, che. Uh, no, what's what was the word? I'm sorry, I I've just my brain's kind of fried. Oh, Mariel. Yes, it's it's that's the way it's spelled, but uh, it's 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 different. Like uh, uh, like gnome. You know how gnome oh. is spelled. Um, she takes the the quill from you and she writes N O M E. And the panic uh, takes the quill from her and then writes a G in front of it. What? I, yeah, the gnome. It's, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? That's just there, the are there are words that are silent. Yes, those are called silent letters. Oh, Ginter, guide me. Um... <laughs> uh, do I? Wait, wait. Do I have any panic, chance panic, of hearing that? The panic freezes. What? Oh, uh, you know, Ginter, guide me. Um, oh, you must not wish it him. Um, sorry. Wait, wait, um, <laughs> uh, refresh me. Uh, who exactly was Ginter again? I, I didn't the probably. god, the god, Ginter itself is the god of agriculture. Tend to be worshipped by farmers or simple folk. Not, not probably, probably not related to um, the 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 Ginter. Um, Ginter's falling. As yeah, Asmar that just like freaking yeah. went ballistic. Oh well, uh, well, yeah. That's that's just the way some words are spelled. They're not all like that. They're it's they're a silent letter, mostly for names and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yours. Huh. That's kind of neat. Um. Okay. Meryl. Mar Meryl. She kind of writes it out. It's very like you can tell she's not a writer, like naturally. Um. But she's 
pretty good for she's a beginner. You also notice that there's Helga written above and Ty written above. And then she kind of turns to you and goes, um, what's your name? My name is Panic. Oh, that's easy. Uh, and she goes, P-A-N-I-K. Mm, that's that's different. That's different, actually. Oh, um, oh, 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 then it's, it's, and she, like, kind of smudges, like, she scribbles it out, and then she puts a C, like that. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. See, you've got the hang of this. <sighs> okay. I just, and she just keeps going back. And at that point, you kind of get the gauge that she's kind of on a roll again. And uh, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, Panic uh, clasps his hand on her shoulder and he says, Hey, you're going to do fine, you know that? Yeah, I just... Um, Bard of inspiration! If you, need, if you need any more help, you just let me know, okay? And I'm of going course. To, I'm going to hum a little something while I'm walking away and give her part of inspiration. All righty. I'll do yeah. an intelligence check. It's a d6 now for your inspiration, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Jeez, might need it, actually. That's a six. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Went from a 10 to a 16. She kind of bobs to, like, the humming and mm -hmm. continues to write. All right. Ty Borpington comes out with a big, giant roast. Like, it's a pork roast with, with crackle on it, with rosemary. It smells aromatic, and he places it down, gives you guys plates, and you guys dine on that. Um, I'm going to say you guys fully heal from resting at your tavern. Nice. The food from Ty and the drink from Helga and the rest of your own home. This is so good. Ta uh, Task is going to look over to Ty for a second. If you don't mind. Yes. Before you cook another meal i'd actually prefer if you brought me out back i'd like to examine or at least observe how surface dwellers cook oh why i i haven't taken on an apprentice since i was on the canary this that would be wonderful you will have to wash your hands oh my goodness we should cook sometime panic mm -hmm. we should cook sometime Tash looks at his hands. Like, you remember from fucking Red and Snippy, these are the hands of a working man? He's like, why do I need to wash my hands? And it's the hand painted, like, his fingers are crusty as fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, think uh, Oh, my. That's uh, cleanly. <clears throat> anyway, speaking of cleanly, I must clean my kitchen. Take care and make sure to stack the plates. Goodbye. And he waddles on off into his kitchen, which has, like, the, the kind of the two doors that kind of swing. And he goes in and you just hear like the sound of, of uh, crackling fire and the sound of uh, a knife hitting a cutting board. Helga, apart from, uh, apart from us being out here, how, how has morale or like just employer like efficiency been? How is everyone liking this place? Uh, we would like dental. <laughs> Dental would Start be good. Borky, si Borky sits up for his plate and just rolls his eyes. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do about that. We actually we we came back with a few credits to maybe help this place up a little bit more. That might not be such a hot idea. That might not be such a bad idea. Dental Medical brand. would also be good. A cleric in house, not so bad. Uh, but probably not needed until you have something like fight pit. Uh, place is little quiet. I one complaint to be had. Little quiet. Had a metal woman come in here the uh, other day asking to perform. Uh, what, what was name? Meryl. What was name of weird metal woman? And Meryl kind of looks up, and goes, um, I think her name was Steve, which doesn't <sighs> make much sense. Oh my God, really? She. Oh wow, she actually came to recite prose. Right. Mm, yes, but yet we have no stage, so. This we'll was look, not possible. I will right, we'll look into that. Ah, well, that simply won't do. I say we get a stage immediately. <laughs> you are <laughs> gonna talk about it. No, let him earn it. He. We're going. Task we're going looks at Tass looks it. at panic stomach. I think he earned it. Yes, thank you. We're going to talk about it, and we're all going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Me now that you say it one side like that. Well, never mind. <laughs> In, in the in the meantime, Greckles is just rolling around Borky's tooth in his hand. Right, yeah, he just took one of those teeth, but luckily G Borky grew his back. Because right. Other yeah. than that, morale, Merle has been carrying weight like donkey carries. I don't know. 
Wait. Poor person. <laughs> that is rude, orc man, and she smashes down the stern. Borky pulls up, holds up both his hands, just goes, fucking fine. Fucking fine. <laughs> <laughs> under the table, under the table, have uh, she dipped into any of her personal funds that I've asked you to hold on to? She has taken 100 gold pieces from personal fund, says to repair roof of home so she can study in warmth. That's fair. I, I don't mind that. I feel like this place, while well, having a stage would be great, but imagine if we hide a cheesery. For oh. once, when the sun aligns with planets, I agree with orc men. Oh, so cheese we should, we should make cheese is delicious. 24-7. We should become a cheese business. <laughs> Borky... First you were a manager, and now you want to be a cheese yeah. peddler? Yeah, a cheese peddler. I want to be a cheese tycoon. <laughs> right, well, as long as we have enough for other people to decide what they want, I don't care what you spend it on, just so long as everyone else has a chance. Elga just wants dental. We'll have to find a cleric. Task Solly just over. kind of shifts awkwardly. <laughs> I wish to become a cheese baron. Porky leans back, <laughs> imagining it. Well, speaking of cleric... Oh, by the by, uh, there is something I do want to say to Salvador before we leave, because there is something I just remembered. There is a small... Uh, I'm going to move over to him. Oh, by the by, there is a small bit of information that I think you would find interesting about the, what we discovered at Ginter's Folly. Oh. Um, have you ever heard of a plant that lives... Like, it, there was something living in there. There was a plant that lives in there. It was necrotic and all kinds of, like, gross. It was producing fruit, but it was some kind of, like, pustulant, like, green and purple. Hmm. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Hmm. It just sips his drink. He just kind of doesn't really say anything. Well, do you have, can I get any information as to what that was? Do you know what it was? Look, I'm a cleric, not a miracle worker. Ah, you're a cleric, that's good. We might put you up for... <laughs> if we were to find a cleric for this place. Oh, that would be such he a great looked... idea to... <laughs> he oh looks no, around. it's a great idea! Are you kidding? Of course it's a good idea! <laughs> he looks at you and he just goes, No. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm awaited back at the sands, where the corpses flow like water. Borky's, Unfortunate. Borky's tearing into his mate. Oh, this is good. Speaking of necrotics, I did want to have. Uh, have you ever? Have you been to the Underdark uh, lately to see how the uh, necromancer was down there? Uh, the the what was Kobold. Ma, ma ooh, there too. Uh, Mel. Ma, yes, the hyper one who. I don't know, for some reason, brought up a measuring tape to my leg. Don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, I, last time I was there, uh, the, the leader, uh, not the big red tiefling, the other one, you know, the Every one we man. never see. Yeah, real upset about something. Upset. Don't know what. Is she upset with a something or someone? Salvador shrugs. Fair enough. Thank you for that info. Puts down another 10 copper to give him a drink. Nice. Just takes it with two talons and just drags it. Yes, I love I love this Tales from the Crypt Keeper motherfucker. <laughs> all right, so where are you guys heading? You guys got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, I want to get rid of all this shit that's in the bag. Like, we have, gentlemen, including the Displacer Beast stuff, we have options for synthesizing. Mm -hmm. Panic's going to requisition a stage. Okay. Go for it's it. a custom order, so you put it in, and you'll hear back for the charge. Oh, speaking so how of... Much, how much was that? The charge for the stage? Yeah. yeah. It has to be processed by Adric. Oh, okay. But how, and, but how um, much? You don't know yet. Oh, okay. okay. I've been yeah, you guys, you guys don't know. It's basically you guys are sending off. You're asking basically for a quote on how much that would cost. Mm. And then if you're like, okay, sounds good, you can pay the quote, and then you'll get your stage. It's a custom good. thing. Also, I've did any of you guys notice talk that him. the... the <laughs> did any of you guys notice how uh, that Pegasus sign that was out in the front is gone now? Mm. I did meet someone in the town before we started heading back here. Another kobold. He was a carpenter. I could commission him to make the front look a little bit more pretty. That it wouldn't the, be a bad idea. We're calling it the Sweet Dragon Rock. Of course. Mm, okay. 
and I wasn't just playing. Imagine this, if we're known for ale and like pristine cheeses. Cheese task, cheese. I don't, I don't eat cheese, Porky. I do. Okay. Do you drink milk? No. What the hell is milk? Oh my god. I, I just got no idea what to even think right now. I just. It's no wonder you're so small. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. No, here's the um... thing. Now, you'll when you try cheese, you'll be like, mm, that's okay. No, seriously, Task cheese is top notch. It's really good. It's really good. Task looks over at Greco's like, can you vouch for these two? I'm lactose intolerant, so I really don't have any say in this. <laughs> you ate what a ice fucking, cream! What a dodge! What well, a meta dodge! Well, well learn, learn to get some sick of skin then. Anyways, be more Are you tolerant. guys walking while, while you're talking? Yeah, let's, let, okay. let's, oh, oh, before we do, actually do go, I, for everyone, uh, Everyone have a piece of like equipment because I have the giant list of body parts and shit that we have. Oh, Bork, right. any... we've got Borky's got the bag. He's got the bag of holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna post it in the in our chat, or should I post it in the chat or on D20 of what we have so that uh, everyone can see it? Let's, you know what? Let's do it on on the Discord. Okay, so this is what I have. Is there anything in here that anyone can say that they want to use for something? Oh, like the sticky chitin? I definitely would love to get my hands on that. Like, if, mm. so, if there was some kind of, like, climbing assister, it'd be super nice. Right. Um, well, that's, uh, that's, poison. A long, that's a long list of shit. Holy fuck. I'm, um, I'm looking for... I'm gonna... Well, we're gonna keep the strange creature corpse for obvious reasons, because we want to bring that to someone who knows what the fuck, mm. or at least has an idea. We also got the two void beasts. We, we do, I... Yeah, we do need to utilize those Displacer Beast pelts because those would make some really great stuff. That would be really right. that would really be good for uh, task, and I'd say uh, Krakos. All right, so then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the Displacer Beast uh, Displacer Beast bit on you then. Let's also look into the mandibles and possibly the spider head. See if we can get some like poison weapons made from that. Borky would like yeah, a yeah, new, yeah. Borky would like a well, new weapon eventually. The Edder the Edder Cap eggs, we need to just straight up sell those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably probably the other non fertilized eggs as well. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. So we have an idea. Let's head on out. Okay, where are you heading? Dun, 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 dun. All right, well, uh why don't we dis uh so I don't think we want to go to Iyer to sell shit. We want to see if we could find someone in town who's willing to crass, uh, to craft stuff from this, uh, yes. from this bounty. Can we? Can, yes. What about that one guy that crafted the um, acid daggers? He's only a dagger smith. Yeah, oh. he's uh, he's he, he he does it as a hobby. It's not like his passion. Well, well how we much? Do, how much? Have, how much? We do have their whole corpses, so maybe their teeth or claws you can make something out of. I was about to say we still have the mandible. We still have the other mandible that we can make another acid dagger, and we could possibly make uh, poison daggers from the mandibles. I doubt we could make anything like a sword. Well, I was kind of hoping I could make poison arrows. Would they be? Would the mandible just out of character? Would the mandibles be small enough? Uh, the mandibles. Yeah, you could probably make arrowheads out of them. All right. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to, like, use the poison or whatever venom sacks we had to make, like, a cluster of poison arrows. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have to find someone who is, uh, who, who can handle this sort of work. Uh, as you kind of wander around, do you think that basically the Blue Dragon Emporium would probably be the best place to go? All right, let's go. In fact, as you guys are walking, you pass by Iyer's little stall, and there's a sign that's saying it's closed currently due to monster the Monster Emporium inventory. Ooh. Wait, wait, it's closed because of that one? Because yeah, they're, of the they're, inventory. They're, they're taking inventory at the Monster Emporium. Okay. Oh, well. gentlemen, we can make some money today. Mm. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, you guys make your way to um, the Blue Dragon Emporium. Um, and as you guys make way, you see... Uh, actually, roll. No, this is pretty active. Uh, you see a group of people currently staring in through the shop's window. Oh. Hmm. What's all this about? Task asks, a per uh, task asks someone. 
Uh, there's one gentleman wearing what looks like a messenger's outfit, and he's got kind of a side bag, and he like lifts up his hand. He doesn't even look. He goes shh 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 shh. And then another guy who's like an older dude with this big, like very curly mustache goes, "Okay, easy goes, boss. Just lean down. Excellent. No, 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 no. What's he doing? He's losing it." And like, there's a female half orc in like full paladin armor who's just like, "I don't really, I don't really think you can help him." And as you guys peer in, you see Doros currently in the store. And you get the sense that all these these four people in front of the stall is his men. <laughs> and they apparently are, like, watching, like, a sports game. What's going on? Uh, do, can I look and see what the fuck is happening? Uh, you see just Doros awkwardly standing there, and, like, Willow's talking to him, and he's, like, kind of talking back. And you see another woman actually working in the store, a woman you haven't seen before, with <sighs> long, kind of curly hair. Hmm. Well... Panic is going to, as quickly as possible, just shun Po behind Forky. <laughs> okay. Is, is the door closed or is it open? It's closed. I just imagine Panic going, nothing personal, kid. Ta I'm sorry, Task nothing is just going to fucking open the door. I don't got time for this. Yeah, ding, I was ding, just going to knock. Open the oh, door. Uh, hello, Willow waves. And then the woman kind of looks up and kind of, hmm. Borky. And the woman Borky. proudly stands and... He walks in, too. Okay. Uh, the woman turns, the older woman turns. She's very beautiful, uh, long curly hair, very extravagant robes. Kind of weird to see in the lower districts. And mm. she sticks out a hand. Dorothy of the Blue Dragon Emporium, welcome. Oh, hi, thank you. Task will take her hand and, and shake it. Task. Very firm handshake. You notice she has a, a bunch of rings on her fingers as well. Some magical, some not. Bulky, the okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> a big fellow. And she gives you a nice handshake as oh, well. Oh, yes, indeed, ma'am. Yes, indeed. Task gives. Panic taking a big risk. He's going to step out from behind Borky. And he's okay. gonna gonna do a little bow. And he's gonna hold his hold his hand out and say, "Oh, Mr. Panic." Ah, yes. Hello. Good job. Uh, Good job, Hi. Panic. Doros turns and he doesn't seem to care. Oh. Ah, good. <laughs> uh, and Panic, Panic holds his hand up. Panic Grim Tongue. Oh, I've heard about you. She gives you. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All good things, I hope. Oh, yes, of course. I heard about a little bit of uh, altercation in an alleyway, and Willow just kind of looks guilty. Something about a magic cabbage. Um. Details, I think, were a bit vague. Wait till you hear the story how I speared him. Oh, it's funny. Oh. <laughs> Panic turns back to Borky. And he's just like, hey. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> phrasing. So, task, task will just go. Oh, he's just oh if, if you are the phrasing. owner. Phrasing. <laughs> If you are the owner of the blue, uh, you are an employer of the blue blue ta uh, blue dragon emporium. We... I'm the owner of the blue dragon emporium. Owner, I do apologize. That's okay. I would. I we do actually have a large, large supply of things we've gotten. We got. Uh, so, we got. We got so much stuff. So I... excellent. All right. Um, Borky just kind of. Or he kind of just opens up the bag of holding and just pulls out one of the void beasts as hard as he can. One of the kitty weapons? Because the was like, ah! Oh, to those displacer the... beasts? Yeah, just trying it to It slumps to the ground. It smells awful. Yeah. It's kind of beginning to rot. Um, and the skin is kind of like gross and hard. And uh, uh. like Willow jumps back. Doros is kind of like, whoa. And the owner just doesn't even blink an eye. All right, wait a second. We got, I got, you think that's all we got? Check this out. And Borky just <laughs> starts pulling out dead. the second one. Yeah, we're just going to show her everything we have in here, except for the strange creature just yet. Oh, uh, we got a bunch of these, a bunch of spider parts. Borky just... I just see this this icker-covered this icker -covered body, just dead body piece just getting scattered all over the floor. Yeah, it's like Everything. staining the floor, too. Human it's pretty canine, nice. spy, spider fangs, two tiny venom Ta sacks. Tax, looks, o Tax looks, over to, looks over to her. I do apologize. Is there perhaps a place we should be placing these rather than just on your floor? No, oh, right here is fine. I can clean it up. Uh, Willow, if you could get Doros's things and then help me, that would be great. Sorry. And Willow kind of nods. And Willow runs into the back and 
panic as Willow leaves, Doros turns and looks at you, and there's this kind of this moment, just the two of you, frozen in time, and Doros just stares. And then he lifts up his hand to his head and does the anime hair swish, oh. but he doesn't have hair. <laughs> he gives you the cheekiest grin. Mm. And then leans back on the counter. And... Oh my god, at least the man has confidence now. <sighs> <laughs> and then you see Willow come back out and she <laughs> puts the uh, a crate, a small crate of potions on the table Pan and Doros takes Wait a it. Panic is gonna Panic is gonna look at him question look at uh Doros questioningly before Willow gets back and he's gonna be like he's gonna point at him and he's gonna be like you and then he's gonna take his hand and make like a ring shape and then take his other hand and make a make a pointing finger. And he's oh God! Gonna <laughs> unite the two. And he's just gonna look at him questioningly. Questioningly. Uh, he look. He's red. He's just red. Panic <laughs> <laughs> is gonna bust out laughing at this. Panic <laughs> is just gonna bust out laughing at this. Just. Oh man! Willow comes running Ooh. back and she puts the things on the Goes, oh, uh, did he tell a joke? Oh, a funny joke! Oh, oh a hilarious best. one! This guy is a riot. He just <clears throat> Task looks at him and just like gives him like a stern like chill out look at <laughs> get like glare at him. He what? snorts and he grabs the crate and he kind of like leans over stops like he leans over to willow stops for a second kind of gives you like the narrowed eyes sort of glare you see his like that stern frown come back he kind of gives willow a nod and willow kind of looks a little disappointed and then he kind of ch -ch 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 ding -ding 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 -ding. <laughs> leans out like leans into the door and just leaves and ding -ding 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 -ding. and then you see all of his men turn you can see them in the window like they're not even hiding you see all of his men turn and give him a thumbs up and it kind of clicks. That's where the thumbs up thing might be coming from. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that when he goes to lean out the door, he trips and falls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Panic looks to task and he just gives him a little shrug. He's just like, what can I say? I'm a stinker. Bye, Doros. Willow just kind of looks confused. Oh, well. Um, mm, right. Uh, oh, I got the ledger, ma'am. Uh, Dorothy. And she puts it down. And Dorothy takes it. Oh, excellent. And she begins to fold through it. Um, oh, good news for you. Uh, actually, there's a displacer beast that's been needed to be hunted for the Monster Emporium. They want to do a uh, a taxidermy version for study. Yes, unfortunately, due to uh, what what time we had and what situation we were in, we couldn't really, apart from this tentacle, we really were not able to uh, embalm this or like make a proper taxidermy of this creature. Yeah. Hmm. She looks over it. This one's pretty intact. If you allow me to take the tentacle from the other one, I could pay you 2,500 gold pieces for the specimen. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. For, for just for one of, just for- Just the, for the one, yeah. Just, just for the one corpse? Yo. She, she lifts, she pushes the ledger and she points out and it looks like there's a man named uh, Scott who is looking for a full displacer beast to basically use as a teaching tool. I'm down with that. How about you, gentlemen? Uh, Sounds good to me. What do you think, Kitty Weapon? And just hold up the little tentacle. Oh, I'd like to go with you, Lois Lady. Yeah, we're in, we're in. We're in. <laughs> uh, got she... two others as well, so. Okay. So... She pushes the ledger over and she hands uh, whoever's closest a quill. I guess it's me. Okay, yeah. Okay. Cause... Task will side for it. Nice. And we want to keep the other one then for us out of character. Yeah, we're going to keep the other tentacle for us for. Uh, it's a actually well-preserved uh, tentacle of the Displacer Beast, so we could use this for something. By the way, okay. real fast, uh, just as a quick aside, I don't mean to take away from this too much, McMillokins here and Metamancer here, and Metamancer was the kind artist who did the artwork for the Unexpectables layout. So thank you so much, Yay. Metamancer, and thank you so much thank for McMillokins for directing me towards her. Thank you guys so much for swinging by. What a guy. Um, as you finish signing the ledger task, suddenly the entire contract, like, sinks into itself like the paper crackles and wrinkles into the middle and becomes a gemstone and dorothy takes that gemstone walks over and takes the other tentacle adds it to the displacer piece that's probably in the best condition and then she places the gemstone right on top and you just see a flash of arcane energy and both the gemstone and the dis displacer piece just disappear good that ends that that's weird now if you don't mind me asking that's actually a very 
very handy spell for someone who likes to hunt. Oh, is it's not a, a spell. It's an item, and it's an Alavast special. Only certified mages of Alavast can carry such items, I'm afraid. Uh, that, that's a shame. Sorry. Uh, very well. So how much money did we get for that? I'll hold uh, on to the cash for 2, now. 2,500 gold pieces. 2,500. All right, boys, I'll hold on to the cash wait, for this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 45 or 25? 25. 25. Okay, so that's 625 for all of us. Well, no, he's gonna, no uh, do, we, do we add that to us, or do we want actually the task to Well, we, I'm going to hold on to the total. When we get out of here, we'll split the money. Yeah, we go. Let's, 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 let's tally it all up as we're, as we're cashing in everything. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I got rid of the Displacer Beast. We're going to keep the Tentacle. Yep. We have all of these task uh, points are towards the 20 giant spider eggs, the 5 unfertilized spider, e spider eggs, and the 22 Ender Cap eggs. Now, we got okay. a lot of eggs, and trust me, it's been a really eggy adventure today. Last 20, <laughs> la last day or so, just eggs, like spider eggs, eggs that turn into spiders, spiders that turn into eggs. It's crazy. Hmm. Uh, she brings Willow over and goes, Willow, you examine the giant spider eggs, I will examine these. And she takes the edder cap eggs and she looks at them. These are edder cap eggs, and she kind of moves them side to side. They're probably not going to hatch. Um, hmm. The monster emporium could look at them. I don't think they would wor be worth too, too much in this state. Uh, and she pulls out a magnif- like, she pulls out, like, a glass, magnifying glass, and she looks at them closer. They would- make use in some potions if you'd be willing to sell them to me what do you think boys i am yeah. pretty actually okay on how potions. Much, oh yeah how much right. how much could you how much could we sell them for i'll give you 10 gold pieces for each egg so that's 20 that's 220 dollars or we could use it for potions well, we i got... say we go for the potions yeah, it's probably not the bad. That's that's probably not a bad idea. Put, put so, so you're gonna keep them? You're gonna keep them? Okay. We could, but who who do we know we that could process them? That's the thing. Oh, yeah, you guys could, don't have a mage. Split, we could split them up. We could sell eleven and then keep eleven for ourselves. But what would we use them for? We don't know anyone that can actually make a potion out of them except for your boyfriend. Oh my god, how is he hey. doing? About, oh my god, how is he doing? By the now, way, now that's an idea. Also, he's not my boyfriend. Okay, I know you're not really. <gasps> you have a boyfriend. Willow yes, looks very he, happy. No, no, yes, no, he no, he, no, he, no, and no, they, no. And no, they have no, a he, pet he, together. It's a hedgehog. Oh, panic! I'm so happy for you. I, I want Doris break to up lean his... in. No, he's gone. He's, he's... oh damn it. <laughs> Oh, Panic, that's wonderful. I know you were really upset about that breakup, but that's good. You're moving forward. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Back to work. Sorry. Just she goes back to work. I'm just imagining Snake's face right now, and it's like the same as Panic's going like, fucking guys. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so unfortunately, it means we are going to have to... Well, how about this, gentlemen? We don't know a mage yet, but why don't we invest some money in actually getting a mage to come and, you know, work for us? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're looking for a mage? Yes. And Willow kind of perks up again. I actually could really use a second job. Um, not that I want to, in, in, you know, um, butt into your guys' lives or anything, but um, since not being able to go to school, I... I have a lot of time, and I would love to, you know, take what I'm learning here to good use. I, I definitely will apply if you Willow, take application. Willow, Willow, Willow. Yes. Guys, are we in agreement? Yeah, you got the job. Oh, 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 so you have an Arcadium then? Oh, we don't. Well, That's we... what we need to get, oh. Orky. Oh, I, just, I don't, I, 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 I'm not the bad news kind of guy. I'm the good news kind of guy. It <laughs> wouldn't be hard to get. No, it wouldn't. Oh. Okay, well, if you're willing to pay the hiring fee and, and get the Arcanium, I'd love to work for you guys. I, I owe you so much. Yeah, you'll All be right. a fine right. addition to the Unexpectables family. Mm, Plus, yes. it's a little bit uh, safer place to live for me, which I think Alrighty. would be good. Yeah. Okay, then Task is going to look to every single one of them and just go, very well, I get to choose the Cleric. Okay. If you want. Thank you. Oh, I already know who we're choosing. Just Turn just... around. <laughs> what do we? Wait, wait, wait. What are we gonna do about the eggs, guys? All, all, all the egg, uh, eggs and spider. We also have all the spider bits too. We gotta get through all that shit. 
Um, the problem yeah. is, is that now we have all these things. We just don't know what to do with them. Oh. Uh, do you want me to just shotgun through these things and tell you what she'd take and what, what might yes. not be taken? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Human canine, she won't take it. Um, the square yeah. of spider silk, um, she's willing to take it, um, but it's like five copper. Um, um, I had I had you... arrow plants for that, actually. Okay, spider fangs, um, she offers five gold pieces for each fang. Mm, okay. We... okay. The venom sacks, she's not as inclined to buy them. Um, you get a sense of some discomfort that is probably more something you'd probably be able to sell in the underbelly, effectively. Yep. Um, the two mandibles she's very interested in for the uh, Monster Emporium. She offers uh, 25 gold pieces for each. Okay. okay. The and... five unfertilized spider eggs rations are disgusting and completely worthless. Mm, I see. We'll use, the, we'll use them for poison then. And the giant spider eggs are willing to take for one silver piece each. They're a very common ingredient in basic potions. Hmm. Mm. I, I, guess them, I guess we're going to hold on to the Enter Cap eggs because this is some pretty, really good catalyst shit. You might also want to hang on to the mandibles and the venom, the, the mandibles, the venom sack, and the um, the fangs, to which we can actually make stuff out of them. Yeah. All right. That, that sounds about right. Borky, like, so, Borky's like, all right, we'll put it in a different bag then, and you take it. Cause well, I we, have this, we also have the spider head. Oh, right. Like we have a clean, we have a clean cut and and preserved spider head. Is it a giant spider head? Yes, it is. Uh, she does examine it, and she's willing to to pay one hundred and twenty five gold pieces for That's the head for the monster good. for him. That's not bad. Yeah. You want to do she that, actually... boys? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. One hundred twenty or one hundred twenty five. One hundred twenty five. Okay. All right. One hundred twenty five. We'll sign off on that. See, now it's been really quiet. Are you agreeing with us? <laughs> yes. He's, <laughs> con he's one of the con bus. No, he's contemplating revenge right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Dorothy kind of clasps her hands together, kind of taking. Are you guys going to sell the uh, giant spider eggs, or are you going to keep those? I say we hold on to them. Okay, okay right. that's a shame. We're running short, but we can get our own supply. Well, she kind of clasps her hand together. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm afraid we can't sell any items right now. Um, there's a kind of an inventory going on in most of the arcane uh, districts at the moment. I we saw that. We oh, saw that from outside with your with that uh, with that fellow Iyer. Uh, what's oh, the Iyer, issue? he's the most. He's such a gentleman. Um, oh, it's just we do uh, a sort of standardized uh, inventory before winter hits. Just you know, things tend to get moved around in the summer, and yeah. we want how, to be sure that if we need to move anything outside. How long will that take? Oh, uh, anywhere between a couple weeks to a month. Depends. Uh, higher districts, it takes longer. Uh, us, she kind of turns to Willow. Willow kind of shrugs. Probably shouldn't take too, too long. Maybe a week and a half or so. We're a pretty week fast. And a, a week and a half without business? That seems kind of risky, doesn't it? Well, it's better to make sure we have everything in stock. And she kind of stares at you. And make sure everything's licensed properly than to sell without, you know, following the right precautions. Mm. Uh, I guess that's fair. Mm -hmm. I beg your I beg your pardon if that seemed to have offended you. I'm just one who likes to hunt and likes to take prizes. No, no, no. And certainly if you hunt within these, you know, uh, qui sort of quieter months, uh, we'd certainly be able to take anything from you. And we are still selling potions, uh, just not magical items at the moment. Very well. Okay. Uh, Willow, I will leave that to you. I'm going to go and make sure to write all this down in the ledger and set a report out, okay? And Willow kind of nods, and she you watch as the lady kind of saunters into the back. Like I said, uh, like we said, Willow, the moment we uh, get that Arcadium set up, we might be looking into you to be our head mage. That would be wonderful. Yeah, I, um, I just, I really want to apply my skills. I've been, I've been studying really hard by myself. I paid a lot for the textbooks. I might as well get some use out of them. Um, but I, you know, um, with the way things have been going, I'd actually like to be able to um you, she gets kind of like sort of shy and and sort of like fidgety finger goes out with it i just kind of like to take doris on a date too oh. he paid for the last one so you know i don't That's foresee precious. that to be i don't foresee that to be an issue mm -hmm. it's just getting into the higher districts and the, affording the higher districts is a little hard but well, um it should be a while before the arcadium is actually built as well so oh well i you know <clears throat> But, uh, um, congratulations. Ta task, task kind of, like, just takes her hand. I'll arrange for it. Okay. 
Uh, yes, and, and send word. Actually, wait one second. And she kind of scampers away, and she comes back with a uh, mail stamp, and she sets it down. Um, that's my personalized mail stamp. It's very kind of sh shoddy. It's kind of like rubbish, but it works. Right. Um, if you want to contact me, um, you can just stamp a letter with this. Mm -hmm. Good. We'll hold on to this then. Perfect. By, by like, the whole time Borky's been in the background trying to get that the the other void beast in the like the kitty, kitty whipping. In the displacer bag, beast. The displacer beast. Sorry, the displacer beast in the bag. Like, ah, just ugh, hold it to the side. I'm gonna jump on it. <laughs> <laughs> As you manage to finally kind of slump the the corpse back in, uh, Willow walks over to a broom and a mop, kind of set out in the corner, and she taps them with her fingers, and she goes, "Awaken!" And they both spring to life and begin to just clean the floor. All right, boys. Let's uh, let's Amstray. I think we know another place to go. Let's bounce to the his house. Okay. Okay. Um. Bye. Have a good one. And as you leave, panic. Yeah. She gives you like the double thumbs up, like the. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> panic just shoots her another uh, double thumbs up back. It's just Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Panic, oh. panic, panic. She actually runs to the door yeah. and she kind of stops you um, as the rest oh, of you guys oh, exit. What? You know what we could do? Actually, I just had a great idea. You know what could be really, really fun? What's that? A double date. Panic <laughs> <laughs> slowly. The task. No, they're gone. Like, she closed the door and she's talking to just you. Yes! Well, I'll talk it over with him, and we'll see if we can get something arranged. Oh, that'd be great. Like I said, I'd still like to spend some time with you. I, I mean, Willow. me and Doros, nothing changes that. Um... <laughs> so are you, are you two, like, a thing now? Um, I, I guess. I, I mean, after the festival, we, we sat down and we, we talked, um, and... <laughs> I mean, mostly I talked. He doesn't talk a lot, but that's okay. Um, and we went to Dolly's Pastries, and we had a date, and it was nice. Um, it's a little odd. She kind of scratches the back of her neck. I, I didn't really come here for, for that, you know? I, I came here to learn magic, but... Um... Well, you know what they say about love. Sometimes it just happens. The strangest and most inopportune of times, but, uh, well, what can you do? Mm -hmm. I, I think he's nice. He's, he's a, a little awkward, but um He's a good guy and congratulations once again. Thank you. And double date, that'd be awesome. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll let you he, go. He lives quite a bit away, but I'll I'll we'll see. Okay. <laughs> I'm <laughs> panic. Wishes her goodbye and, and joins up with the rest of the group. I, okay, I, you're back. Great. I, I, I need, okay. He's just gonna, I, he's just fact, gonna I need to... look down at task. Just just the stone cold gaze. <laughs> yes. <laughs> saying nothing okay I, fair I, enough I, I mean i mean this honestly if if you end up putting them in an actual date scenario nadine and you end up like full-blown nutty professor playing most of the characters in the scene i will be officially the happiest person in the fucking world <laughs> <laughs> i just i'm just, I'm just so great you caught me yeah of course it's so great to see you <laughs> all right so who here task is gonna just like now that we're all back here who here is not afraid to get a little uh, dirty and go into the underbelly? <laughs> oh, that's my second home. Oh, Bor Borky just flexes. Yeah, it's what's that? What's that? What's that muscle? What's that? You want to go downstairs? All right, let's go. What I'm about you, Panic? I'm going to change my clothes again, to be perfectly honest. All right. Like, barring time, can we just do that? Yeah, I'll just say you, you run back in through the, the tavern. You see that Meryl's gone. She probably went home. And you run upstairs and you change into your sewer clothes. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Well, let's head on down, boys. So what are you guys doing Sewer. with Solly? That's my only question at this point. I assume she was, I'm assuming she was just hanging out at the bar. Yeah, she's really still yeah. standing in the middle of the tavern. Like, what do I do? <laughs> All right, well then. Just drink. Just uh... actually, I think Greckles should, should go talk to her then. Just while we're in the middle of of yeah, while we're changed. waiting for Panic to get changed. Solly, we got some business to take care of in the underbelly. Uh, yeah, are you, gonna... you guys left so i just stayed here uh, sorry about that that's just we there's just only so much time in the day to get things done 
I, yeah, I understand. Um, I guess I'll just stay here, I suppose. Make sure Helga keeps an eye on you. I don't like the fact that clerics of Orin might be running around here. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people are happy with that. Um, I'm gonna go sleep, I think. All right. Okay. And she kind of like goes into Helga's room. Cool. Who let right. you in here? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you coming into my room? I close this door. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. So, so by the way, you've, back been, you've, you've been tallying the money, right? Yes. Uh, we currently are now running at that whole shebang was twenty six twenty five. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's six. That's six fifty. It's six fifty six and a quarter each. But I don't think we can split a gold coin. So someone gets to walk away with one extra. Ta Zito can have it because his character. Yep. he's been great at keeping track of all this shit. All right, let's head on downtown. Let's let's head into the deep dark. So how, how much? How much is everyone getting? It? I'm sorry. Everyone gets six fifty six, except you get six fifty seven. Oh, okay. Should Whatever. we do that right now? No, everyone just write down. You get six fifty six gold. Yeah. Oh, okay. Y'all got money. A plus six. Fuck yeah, we do. Okay. Too bad we can't buy anything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 hey! Not just yet. Not just yet. <laughs> I want that. I want that other acid dagger, yo. <laughs> I mean, we can go get that commissioned, but we have the cash for it. I have yep. forty-two fifty-nine now. I have so much money. Well, well, you're a you're a simple you're a simple man with simple needs, so you're gonna have a back stock guys, of money. Guys, with this amount of money, I could easily afford at least a ten percent stake in a cheesery. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Serious. You don't understand how stocks and bonds work. I'm pretty sure that if <laughs> I... Morky, you don't know how to count! Okay, okay, I'm pretty sure how an account works is you go into a bank, right, and you throw down the money and be like, put this in my account. And since you're a person, you have an account always at the bank. Morky, no one told you you had to make the account first. What's all that, then? <laughs> just, get, just get in the sewer, Morky. Alright, fine, I'm fucking going to the sewer. All right, you guys walk through the main uh, city streets, and as you do, um, I want Task and Greckles to roll a perception check. All righty. That'd be 11 for me. Okay. That'd be a 10 for me, good lord. Ooh, can, yes. can Borky also do perception? Okay. Ah, uh, sure, you know what, yeah. Panic and Borky, you can also do perception. 16. Oh, much okay. better. Not bad. That's a good roll. That's you don't catch one of them, and you don't catch either of them. Okay. Uh, Borky, you notice as you're walking a gnome uh, keeping pace next to you guys, specifically close to the task. Oh, Task, um, Tas, there's a uh, plumper version of you right beside you. May we help you? The gnome grabs you by the arm, Task, and begins to, like, you, two gnomes jump out of nowhere, and they grab Task, and they drag him into an alleyway. Whoa, Fucking whoa, what now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think so. Whoa. Um, hello, okay, acrobat, <laughs> uh, fucking, what is it, acrobatics or athletics check? Uh, athletics, because it's technically a grapple. No, nine. Okay, um, as you kind of resist, the gnome grabs, they're wearing a very lovely bowler hat, they take the hat and they lift it off, and you see Mel looking at you. Trust me, you're gonna want to follow me. And she puts it back on and turns into a gnome. Whoa, wait, what? What? Ah! <laughs> she, the gnome takes off their hat. It's they become Mel, and then they put the hat back on and return to being a gnome. I'm gonna say this out loud though, so everyone else fucking knows. Like when they come at, don't shoot or, or attack Mel, and then go. Why? Why? Merchant is she? Why pushes is... butt, and Merchant just starts shoving you to ask into the alleyway. <laughs> Do the rest of us notice this? Uh, yeah, you guys totally notice this so, at this should, point. Should we, um, is this, like, is this like a small lizard thing? Is this what they do? Do they kidnap each other, like, for fun? I don't know, but let's follow them. Ah, yeah, it yeah, yeah. Fun. It could be fun. It could be fun. All right, as, as Mel and Merchant push you, tiny gnomes, push you into the alleyway task, they immediately, like, throw their arms back and make you, like, back up against the wall. And then Mel takes off the hat, and then you see Merchant take off a flowery hat. Uh, with like fake flowers on it, and they both turn into their original forms, and they peer down uh, the road, and the rest of you guys go into the alleyway too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you guys make your way into the alleyway, um, Mel and Merchant, Merchant specifically, it's like, shh, get on the side of the wall, get on the side of the wall. Oh. 
that's not the song I want. This was, I was about the song. To say, that was spooky. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> that was very foreboding based on the general consensus of someone being kidnapped and pushed up against a wall. Uh, they're not like, they're like, they're also, their backs are on the wall. Like they're literally like 007, like up against the wall and like Merchant is peering out of the alleyway. Um, and as they kind of hold you there, Mel's kind of like bouncing up and down, but Merchant's taking the situation completely seriously. Um, you begin to hear kind of like voices in the streets and you see a lot of people in the streets begin to kind of like divide. Like they're kind of like moving Ooh, away. I'm gonna drop in stealth, just getting out of what? the way now. Yeah. Oh, big old 12. Yeah, I'm Ugh. nice. I'm roll for Mel and oh yeah, they're fine. So like, is it, is it all, is it everyone up against the wall right now or is it just the three of them? Uh, unless you guys want to. I'm, I'm up against the wall. Okay. Okay. Forky, fall, against Forky, the wall. Fall, Forky follows suit. Okay. Um. As you guys are pressed up against the wall, you see the city now, um, especially like the main road. You're seeing like people driving their horses to the side, like almost pulling over. You see um, mothers are kind of grabbing their kids and like pulling them away. And you see dwarves uh, immediately like looking down the road. You see them just kind of uh, and just go inside their homes and close the door. And then you see passing by a set of four horses um, donned in like armor themselves. You see a woman wearing a cowl uh, a set of chain mail and looks like a squire of some sort you see a very grizzled looking man with a very trim beard and you notice that his eye is sunken in as if something has been stabbed into it and cauterized oh, Jesus. and then you see another uh knight dressed in armor and very similar to solly's armor more refined better made and he's got two swords strapped to his side and leading all of them you see this man oh no he has a picture he has a picture oh boy never a good sign oh boy here i go killing again okay gonna be a big boy it's gonna be a big big boy there you go oh Oh, lordy lou he's a scrawny boy you see this elf like total like chin up shoulders back riding one hand on his weapon to his side the other hand on the reins of the horse and he's just looking and he's just scowling at the people just completely unimpressed and you see him you hear him muttering to one of his men um i don't know if you guys want to do a perception check for oh, that you can. Yes. yeah let's oh, do absolutely. that absolutely okay. nine never mind all right Hold the fuck up. Uh, perception is a 20. 16. Okay. Okay. Let me roll, I guess, a 16. Oh, okay. 16, 16. Okay. So, worky task and panic. You hear him say, uh, as he kind of looks, and you notice he's looking at a dwarf who's just kind of tucking into his home. You see the elven man lean over to the armored fel- individual, and he goes, no wonder the heretic fled here. And he kind of sits up in his saddle and kicks the horse and they continue forward. And then after a decent point, they disappear down the road as Mel and Merchant kind of lean over and leaves you guys in the alleyway. And the people kind of reconvene and and talk and um, the city once again kind of becomes itself again. Shit. Well, there's there's our paladin friends. Okay, merchant, now we must do the report. And she pulls out the most like awful looking Necronomicon looking book ever. And merchant just takes one look at it and just shakes his head and he pulls out a piece of parchment and he begins to scribble on it. Anyway, hi. <laughs> she turns to you guys. Oh, hey, what's up? No, I'm doing great. How yeah. are you guys? Oh, we got to your dogs. <laughs> hey, Tusk, how are you? I'm fine now knowing I'm not being mugged by two gnomes. Oh, well, you know, magic cats. Uh, every man's got a bunch of these. I don't know why, but he lends them out. But we had to give them back, which sucks because they're probably worth a lot. I think right, Merchant? Too. Merchant's kind of like waving his hand like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Are you, are you real fast, I noticed mm-hmm. one thing. We didn't really dis- uh, we didn't um, really describe the, the guy with the picture for the people who are hearing the podcast version. Oh, yeah. Uh, the picture is the gentleman who is on the main horse is a very surly looking elf with comb back blonde hair, very fine clothes, 
very prim and proper. Looks very uh, snooty, if there were a real way to describe it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Your Mel, standard elf. Yeah. Um, Mel just kind of beams, like... Well, we were on our way to the Underdark. We actually looks over to Merchant. We have some items you might actually find interesting from our last hunt. Oh. Well, what are you we... selling? <laughs> I can't help but feel that that was forced in some what, magical way. What are you buying? Borky says. <laughs> going with I, the I feel we should... Uh, should we rather do business down underneath so no one sees us? Oh, the underbelly's on complete lockdown on every man's orders. Oh. Why? Oh, because of them. She points to the, like, down the road where the paladins and went. And what are you two going to do about this now that that place is locked out? Oh, well, we're reporting, so we're allowed back in. You know what? You should come with us. I what now? You should come with us. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Sure, why not? It does, and by someone, does should, we should come. Does that mean everyone? Uh, she kind of looks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, that's exactly where we were going, so I don't mind that. Okay, but I have to catch up with you guys, because we need to make sure to know where the scary people are going, which is really boring, but that's okay, because I have to earn my pay, and then not die, and it's also how I get my corpses, which is really important right now. Um, So we'll have to catch up with you later, but here, and she hands you, like, this skull, like this tiny little skull on a chain, <laughs> and she gives it to you, and she goes... Just tell John to just move. Don't worry. It's, it'll be fine. He's cool. Tell John to move. Okay. Okay. She puts the hat on and turns back into a gnome. Bye! And she just runs out into the crowd. And Merchant's just like, I'm not done the report. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he kind of tucks it in his bag. And he turns over to look at who is talking business. Because he caught his me. attention. Yeah, he turns over to you. We got a few things. Uh, task, uh, task kind of like snaps his finger so Borky could snap to attention. What's up? What's up? Show him the bag. Right here. Yes. No, not right here. Let's go in the sewers. Oh. Are you being serious or not? I'm being serious. Let's go. Borky, let's, let's go. Okay, I'm going. Jesus. <laughs> uh, merchant goes over and pulls open the manhole cover. All right, let's head down. They, they go down. Okay. Home. Immediately, you guys jump down, and you're met with that lovely, delicious smell mm. of the sewers. Drink it in, man. All right, well, let's just hold our tongues in for a quick second. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, Borky, show him the bag. Uh, we have a couple of things here. Yeah, we got here. Got ourselves a kitty whipping. Uh, we have ourselves some spidery eggs, venom sacks, fangs. Uh, what else task do we have here? We got these, uh, Task is, like, smirks over to that merchant and, like, holds up an Edder cap egg. We got a whole clutch of these. Yeah, yeah, kill a bunch of them. Got some sticky chitin. Oh, the spice of beast tentacle. A... The giant spider eggs. Yeah. Okay. A mandibles. He immediately grabs all the venom sacks. Uh, oh. Hmm. And then he pulls out a pair of gloves. A okay. pair of gloves? Okay, what? Uh, Alright, I'll bite, Merchant. What's this? Gloves of thievery. Ooh. This should be good. Shit. Mm. For the sacks, eh? I was kind of hoping Not I could... Not just the sacks. Give me the kitty whip. And, uh... You want the... You, mm, you want the vibe bite? Five adder cap eggs, the kitty whip, just the... and the venom sacks. How much you giving us for the... He's giving us the gloves. Oh. You you see you see Greco's eyes just widen very very intently. Mm. And if he had if he had lips, they would be grinning into the biggest Grinch grin you've ever seen. Your feathers poof. <laughs> yes, I like the plumage just explodes outward. Mighty nice plumage you're getting down here. I was hoping to get some uh, task like looks over to merchant. Well, this is a very, very swell idea. I had my heart sent on getting these venom sacks made, so at least I can get some poison arrows. I can make poison arrows. There you go. Mm. See, very. Oh, well. We got we got plenty of money. Yeah. 
our last paycheck uh, saw us well. So yep. if you can do this, then I don't see why not. However, Panic seemed to have a little bit of... Uh, he looks over to Panic. You had a little... Uh, you had a small venture you would like to take with that Displacer Beast tentacle. What well, does, does, does he want the Displacer Beast uh, tentacle yeah. or the whole display? He wants... He oh, wants... Health. He wants basically, yeah, the, the body of it for the most part. No, wouldn't it be better to hold on to it just so we can... Wait, have... no, no, sorry. I got just my notes. He, he wants just the tentacle. He oh, wants, he just wants oh, the tentacle, oh, not oh, the... Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. I, was about to, I was about to say, guys, it's a good deal. All he wants yeah, no, no yeah, this is a good deal. I thought he wanted the whole oh, body. I'm like, holy no, shit. He wants, he wants the two tiny venom sacks. He wants the three large venom sacks. He wants five of the Edder Cap eggs, and he wants the, the tentacle from the Displacer Beast. There you go. I'm down with that shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that shit. That's good okay. for me. All righty. What, what and we how much we getting again? What we he getting? gives you, he hands you guys over gloves of thievery. These gloves oh. are invisible when worn. When wearing them, you gain a plus five bonus to dexterity sleight of hand checks. And dexterity I'm going to sleight of hand that right now. Okay. <laughs> with a 20. He's getting all the good stuff. When's you're going to slide a hand the gloves, or are you going to try them yeah. out? I know, I'm just trying to slide a hand the gloves. So wait, are we all getting these, or just one? It's just one pair. One pair? All right. That's fine. Yeah. That's good. Uh, Doesn't require two minutes. Yeah, you, you, you grab them, and you put them on. Do you have anything else in your glove slot for... I don't have gloves. Okay, perfect, then you're fine. Now, what was it, a, a, a plus... It's a plus five just to your sleight of hand checks and cool. to pick locks. That's great. Oh, that's important. That's good. Sorry, guys. He just he just saw a shiny in his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, as long as I can get these, as long as I can get a huge quiver of these poison arrows, I'm good to go. Okay. All right, so let me let me do a quick inventory check on us real quick before we go any further. So he wanted blah, 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 blah. all right. So we're getting rid of the displacer beast corpse. Uh, he wanted five of the other cap eggs. Yeah, he wanted five of them. All right, we have that much left. Uh, the venom sacks are gone. Yep. And we still have the fangs, the square. Uh, spider silk and the uh, displacer beast tentacle, all the other no. giant eggs, no, and the sticky chit, uh, we, we, chitlin. We lost the tentacle. We have the displacer yeah. beast. Yeah. Oh, you guys right, don't right, have right. the tentacles anymore because you took one and you gave it to the other displacer beasts for the display, and then you had the other one, which he took. So now you have kind of like a normal cat, except for it has six legs, so. Okay. Well, as long as we have the pelt. All right. Cool. After finishing your transaction, uh, Merchant kind of begins to climb up the ladder leading out, and he turns, he goes, Pleasure doing business with you. Aye, you as well. Do us okay. a favor. When you, yeah. have ta when you have time, come to the, uh, come to the Sweet Dragon. I have a business proposition for the both of you. Hmm. He kind of smirks, and then he, katunk, closes down there. All right, boys. Let's hit the uh, let's hit the underdark. Yeah. Give give those give those gloves a shot there, Greckles. Alrighty, one second here. Twenty two plus five. Yeah, that's a twenty seven. And task. I want you to roll a perception check. Son of a whore. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. It's updated. I'm I'm it's, it's updated. I'm eleven. I'm, Yep. Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. You feel as though your hands are like water. Just You can just slip in and just weave something and slip out. Cool. Alrighty. So you guys are now in the underbelly. You got the lovely smell of sewage. It smells like rotting food um, and all those lovely things. You do notice there's like a like a gross brown film on the walls. Fine. Well, let's, and, not touch, let's not touch it. And the ground is very slippery as well. <laughs> How do you proceed? I'm actually going to go ahead and put my manta ray cloak hood up because we never know when we're jumping back into poo water. <laughs> also, you may want to put those goggles on, friend. Uh, those never leave my eyes. Oh, okay, good. So unless, you're, you're uh, constantly unless, that bird from Rivals of Aether. Pretty much, <laughs> unless unless the sun gives me a blinding effect from them, which I wouldn't assume that they work exactly like night vision goggles. All right, Bork, well, Bork, let's Bork. roll us. Oh, I'm sorry. Borky holds aloft gripples. 
It speaks to him. Ah, Grippo. So I've been pretty busy the last couple of days. I haven't had a chance to talk. How you doing? Yeah, I know what you're thinking too. I feel like Greco's just getting all the good loot. I just really want a nice weapon, right? Something really fancy. Whatever. Says the guy with three magic uh, weapons. It's just calm down. I'm talking. I'm talking to the the good burb, not the bad burb. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, you'll have another chance to sign someday, Gripples, and everyone will believe in you. Shit. All right. Well, perception's not working for me. Can I roll a survival to at least like? I, what, what would be like something to at least remember what the path was to get to there? Uh, get to the, uh, uh, this is a different uh, sewer entrance, so you don't know actually. Shite. All right. Well, I guess we just proceed. Okay, I'm gonna jump in stealth. Oh, a big ten. Ooh. Nice. It is very hard to stealth in like stonework Stone. <laughs> and poop water. It's... Get, get out of the water, Greckles. <laughs> Got his own little bird. But I can there. breathe it. Why would you want to? <laughs> Don't breathe this. <laughs> well, let's keep going then. All right, you guys continue to go. Um, you actually notice as you're walking, a lot of the sewer grates are open as if rushed and, and quickly opened really quick. Oh. Um, investigation check to see if yeah. I can learn anything about that. That is a big 14. Okay. Uh, you get the sense that they were definitely open and closed in haste, potentially in for fleeing. Uh, we might have company down here. You think the paladins actually came down here? Would you be surprised if they didn't? No, but at the same time... So, uh, I got a question. What, 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 what will we do once we actually come face to face with them? Actually, can I ask a question, guys? Just because, like... Yeah, I've been trying to keep up with all this, so like... Now, what I'm understanding is like... These guys are supposed to be good, but they're not. And now they're, they're supposed to be nice guys, but they're assholes. Have you ever heard of a crusade, Borky? Pretend I haven't, and explained it, but I- but like, yeah, no, I haven't. Okay, I, so it's killing, pillaging, and looting for the sake of a god just because others don't know about your god. I was just being an asshole, really. Well, yeah. then there you go. It's like being, a, it's, it's like being the drunken buffoon. Everyone wants to pay attention. If everyone, it's like being a drunken buffoon in a bar, right? So you had way too much air. Like you have low self-esteem. You're like, everyone, look at me, look at me, and they just make a mess of the whole place. Is that what they are? Yes. Yeah. Oh man, but they're drunk instead on their god. They're not really drunk. They're pious now. They have pious. Uh, smaller words to ask. <sighs> They think they're better than everyone else just because they have their god. Why would that so like that elf guy? He thinks he's better than me? You yes. saying that yes. You saying, oh, yeah. You saying that frail little thing thinks he's better than me? I could squash him with one hand. Well, you might get the chance. Oh. Well, I say okay, here's the thing. I don't think we should follow in after all these like hastily open bars. We should keep going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As you guys continue to go, you hear a, like a... Ready, arrows. Okay. As you guys turn the corner, you see... Do, do, do. Darkness. Who, who provided who provided the art, by the way, for uh, that one elven character? That's Star Exorcist. Ooh. This is Ooh. the character I told her she's not allowed to be in love with, and yet... <laughs> oh, what do we see? Oh, sh oh. oh shit! R-O-U-S's! All right, everybody roll initiative. Oh, fuck yeah, R-O-U-S's. Now what? it's a real campaign. Oh, what, what are you? 23 for me. What's an R-O-U-S? You have to explain. Rats of, rat of unusual size. Oh, shit, it's a big-ass rice. <laughs> it's a nine for me. All right, whoa, okay. Five, so yeah, yeah, we all rolled low except for Gaijin. And, and, and oh, oh, jeez. Okay, oh. she, she a, didn't There's she a didn't giant rat. that time. There's a giant rat in her house. There's a giant rat no, in her no, house. Run no, the name. Fuck off. R O U S is. <laughs> I threw I threw my books behind me without thinking, and I, they did not. Okay, the see, table. you you upgraded from dice to books. <laughs> Easy now. Alrighty. How much experience okay. do you get for the hardcover? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, really quick, on the very far left side of the map, is that just debris, or is that something else? 
Which side? This... All the way to the left. Like, uh, uh, ex here? explain to us what we're seeing, by the way, Nadine. Yeah, here. we're in a sewer. There are rats. Also, did you roll for Taurus? So to the left, uh, yeah, to, yeah. To, to the left of us is nothing but uh, is the sewage drain. But to the on the right side is the path we're on. There's a bunch of giant rats. And what is that we see in the distance? This thing right here. It's a campfire. Oh, it's a oh. Camp. oh dear. Da, 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 da. That's task next, and then all oh, poor Borky with a five. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. The best then... roll. I go to best rolls. Monty roll. dropped herself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a good one in the chat. <laughs> She's being bullied. Oh, I bend my book too, actually. Oh, jeez. That sucks. That's okay. It's for work. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, okay, Taurus. It's not always a good day for Taurus, but that's okay. Where the sewers, it's not his element. Yeah, no. He's been fed too many cupcakes cakes by. Uh, I disagree. He could be fed more cake and cupcakes. <laughs> you just see, right. Taurus, are you ready for battle? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Grekel. Should be spitting out cupcakes. Panic. Crack. And then you. 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 Panic. And then Task. And then Borky. And then the sweet summer child with the two. Oh. Oh, jeez. Alrighty. Nobly. Grekels, you are up first. Do I have clearance for dart shots? Um. I'd get you to shoot sure. one through t through panic and into Borky. <laughs> I, you know what? what? I'm, I'm gonna say for the sake of the tight corridors, I'd say move maybe. Okay. Uh, just, for, just for safety's sake. Can I move here? Is this like yeah. habitable space? Okay. It's kind of like a pillar, but it's got a ledge to it. Please don't forget to describe what you're doing, guys. Yeah. Right. So I'm going. I'm directly behind the group. I'm going to be moving to the right, all the way behind Task, mm -hmm. and I'm going to launch me some dartage. At the ah! 24. Nice. nice. That hits. Hot, hot damn. That is seven damage. Also, sneak attack damage. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Was that the is that the Two. the one closest to us? Yes. Yeah. Good. I have a Col I have a Colossus Slayer hit. All right. Two d six. Seven seven additional damage. So fourteen total. You swing your arm out. You throw your dart. It goes right through the cranium of the of the dire rat and flies past, scattering and clattering on the ground. The rat begins to just twitch and convulse and slumps over. Wow. I hope I hope your pet rat's not hearing this. He must be crying right now. No, it's Twitch is hiding. It's all it's okay. These um, are evil rats. And then for my bonus action, I'm gonna just hide right behind everyone else. Okay. <laughs> because there's nowhere to hide. I just imagine Rolls. when you do this, you're just doing like Dark Souls rolls. Just, just roll, throw, roll. Yeah. Roll, roll. <laughs> like freaking Link in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, it's the, fast, it's the fastest way to get to the city before night happens and the bridge closes. It's so <laughs> true. Panic, it's now your turn. All right. So Panic is going to... Uh, Panic is going to... He's, he's right behind Borky in front of Greckles and Task and Taurus. And he's going to... Let me do a couple of measurements here. Ah, perfect. And he's going to cast a uh, shatter in between these two rats. Alrighty. All right. So, ooh, wow. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Holy crap. Crap. Need shit. A, need to make a need to make a DC fifteen Constitution saving throw. Alrighty. Oh, plus zero to Constitution. Here we go. Okay, that's an eighteen. And other rat, that is a 13. So, this rat here fails. No one who succeeds takes half damage. So All right. The, so the rat in the back die, the fails. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's, its head just explodes like a watermelon. <laughs> the fuck did you do? <laughs> Whoa. Well then. Ah, All right. the beauty of sound. <laughs> really not. This rat, very angry. How far can you move? Oh, you can't move very far. Charges. Yeah. In its wounded state. <laughs> and then you see something peek out from behind the pillar. Oh, what is, <gasps> what is this? Oh, see, shit! What? You see a humanoid-like creature with features of a rat. 
Oh, oh. shit. It's a Skaven. Ooh, what's that smell? We fight Nezumi no, now, boys. No, we have to st we have to stop that thing. It wants my cheesery. No, hold the fuck on, though. Shit, this might be the guard Mel was talking about. It's a rat. Oh. We'll just tell him to move. Yeah, if you want to use a free action to like talk, tell, try and communicate with him, we can do that. Don't yeah. forget the skull. Yeah, yeah. He has moved two, three, and he can move another twenty feet. Okay, he's gonna move that twenty feet. Whee. All right. Task, it's now your turn. Task holds up the skull and screams out, Does this mean anything to you? What was the guy's name that Mel told us? Jeff or Joe or I forget? John. John. We does were, this we mean told... Yeah, does this mean anything to you, John? Uh, it doesn't appear that it has any effect on the rat like creature. Oh, okay. Remember, it's we... gnashing its teeth together, chittering the, its the, teeth no, together. No, the, the man, the man, not the not the rat. No, no, no. He's a rat man, so oh. he, he, oh, yeah. Well. Remember, remember, she told us to say move. Like, move. that was the command. Yeah, okay, okay, then. Move, John. He does not move. All right, it's not here. All right, well, fuck, fuck me in the alley. Shoot this rat. Okay. I wonder if hey. she's just screwing with us. I tried! Oh, that's not gonna hit. That's 12. That just hits. Oh, wow. Woo! 12 plus 5. Oh, yeah, geez. that rat's eviscerated. Exploded. You shoot it right in the side of its ribs, and you just see an eruption of blood as the arrow tears through its side, not just sinking like into its flesh, it actually tears through. And the rat just lets out this horrific scream and slides into the poo water. <laughs> Dead. Damn it, there goes that arrow! Borky, it's now your turn. Borky <laughs> steps forward. Borky walks about, uh... What was it for? Like, about... Uh, 20 feet forward. Uh, actually, 30 feet forward, sorry. Borky runs forward, pulls out his lightning spear. Oh, God. I hope Everyone, we're behind him. get back! Okay. We are, Borky, we are far behind. Borky throws his lightning javelin with all his strength at this. Finally, this will be used for good, not for bad. 14. Okay. Uh, you hit. That's scary. 10 plus 19. What the fuck? Jesus, this thing does a lot of damage. I hope <laughs> if, if you, you want to nerf this, you can nerf oh, this, by the I'm way. Not getting no, it's, that's the way the item is. It's a nuke item, but it doesn't kill him. <laughs> Holy shit. You guys watch as Borky throws the javelin, and then suddenly there's a rave in the sewer as the light <laughs> crackles <laughs> across <laughs> the water. <laughs> And the rat creature staggers, and the javelin's in its shoulder, and it kind of sploops out and clack, 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 ladders, uh, clatters onto the ground, thus ending, unless you want to do anything else, is your bonus action, Borky. Uh, bonus action. I don't, want, I don't think I need to rage with this in this situation. Um. Oh, actually, I completely forgot something. Never mind. Yeah, he's very alive. As a free action, Panic curls into a ball. Inside <laughs> <laughs> of all this electricity. <laughs> uh, I guess Borky as a free can Borky just ready an action? Uh, you can't really ready a bonus action. It's only an action you can ready. Uh, well, Borky can maybe move a couple steps back then. Okay. Borky maybe move like yeah, Borky moves a couple steps back. Surprised that the thing isn't dead. Alrighty, Tarisk. Get him, boy. <laughs> All right, he runs. I love that he's gaining sentience. He knows what to do without me telling him. He runs, he slips on the ground a little bit, kind of does like a little slide, like a little bit of a donut, and then he like gathers himself and he keeps running. Yeah. <laughs> Crackles, it's now your turn. <laughs> is is this rat man aware of all of our presence? Oh yeah, he sees you all. Okay. You get the sense looking at him in your uh, your goggles, his eyes are gleaming. Gotcha. Probably not mad because I hit him with a spear. And there's there's technically nowhere that I could hide. Um Hello <laughs> Snake, yeah. stop, it's too good. <laughs> and I would still yeah, I'd still have no place I could get into. So. God, I keep thinking of playing as my main right now. God damn it. What's that? Okay, so yeah. let me let me let me ask this. Because I can dash as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Could I technically bonus action quote unquote dash to go to here and then have two attacks? Uh, oh, because no, the attack is your bonus action. 
Yeah. Okay, so it, it would the, the the You could the, just move as a move action and then do two attacks. That's what I mean. Like the just something that would equate to move and two attacks. Yeah, you just use your oh, movement okay. action and then you use your your action to do the attack and then you use your bonus action to do additional attack but without okay. your modifier. Yeah. Okie doke. Okay, first start. Yeah. 15. All right, that does hit. For 7 damage. Okay. Oof, high damage rolls. Uh second one which is not listed. Uh, uh, I deleted it by access. Just hit a regular dart attack again. What? Oh, that's a crit fail. Hmm. That is a crit fail. I'm going to roll the severity of this. Oh my god. It's the d4 damage item. Yeah, and I'm going to roll a d4 for you. Unfortunately, it snaps, panics like cerebellum <laughs> clear off at the back Greckles, of his head. Greckles, no, you're Ooh. the only one panic isn't angry at right now. <laughs> you take the dagger and you go to throw it, not realizing that in the darkness you've grabbed it by the blade end. Ah! Okay. You cut your hand for four damage. Oh, shit. Okay. It is bleeding pretty badly. Oh, boy. Panic, it is now your turn. Uh, remind me of the specifics of my circlet again. Uh, it is a, oh, I gotta dig up that item in my sheet. It is a, uh, it uses a beam. Where are you? Ah! I'm surprised you didn't write it down, dude. Well, I had uh, it written down, but. Uh, it is well, a circlet of blasting. Let me Google that real quick. Circlet of blasting 5e. Alrighty. Uh, so with it, you make a, you can use an action to cast a Scorching Ray spell with it. When you make the spell's attack, you do so with an attack bonus of plus 20. So you roll a d20 plus 5. Okay. Uh, what's the range on that? Uh, the range on this is the spell, uh, so it is 120 feet. Jeez. Jesus, that's crazy range. So Panic is going to shift up a little bit so he doesn't, you know, hit Forky, you know, like a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> Probably shady. And uh, he's going to use the circlet of blasting on this motherfucker. Alrighty. So, 1d20 plus 5. That is a natural 1. Oh, oh. oh no! <laughs> what a fight. Oh no. Roll the damage, it's 2d6. Seven. You angle your your scorching ray. You like put your your fingers on your forehead, like Professor Xavier from X Men. You're just like totally focused. Then you go to step forward, triumphant in your victory. You slip on a piece of poop and you fire it right into Borky's butt. Uh, Borky, you take seven points of fire damage, and your pants are currently on fire. Oh my god! Oh, oh fuck! I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bucky, god. Just, Bucky, just stop, drop, and roll, and thank your lucky stars you didn't die. Oh my god, it feels like my asshole's dead. Alrighty. Can Borky jump into the poo water? <laughs> he can on his turn. Nah, okay. <laughs> just don't get cholera. The rat time man is, is flat, running. Time is a flat circle. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> the rat man runs... And as he does, he yanks the dart out of his chest, and you watch as the wound heals. Oh! And he takes the dart, aims it for Borky. That is a 15 plus. Can't blame me for this two. one. 17. Does a 17 hit you? Oh, yes, it does. Anything over 15. Okay. You take you take five points of piercing damage. You take the full damage because you're not raging. Oh, shit. As the dart lands in your shoulder. Ah, oh, fuck me! Task, it's now your turn. You currently see a lovely flame um, on Borky and in the campfire in the distance. Ah, son of a bitch. Head on over here. Hunter's mark this boy and take a shot. Okay, Hunter's mark. Task like, like points at him and now there's the little arrow on his face. The right light looks up and goes, meh, and just like, meh, <laughs> what's heh? <laughs> Oh yes, thank you. I'm so happy. Eustace. I'm so happy. Watch, hair. Rat, hair. 
I hate Ratman. <laughs> Ooga Booga Booga. Ooga Booga is oh, oh, Nat oh. 20. Nat 20, asshole. Oh, oh fuck. What's the um, Hunter's Mark damage? Hunter's Mark damage, let's see here. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so cool though. All right, let me open up my spells. Hunter's Mark is an extra 1d6. Damage to the target. Super shot. It doesn't, it doesn't specify. Okay, well, I'll say the damage works. He takes, okay. Um, you shoot and the arrow lands right in his eye. Um, he now has disadvantage on his next attack. Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh wait, I gotta roll the 1d6. I think that's a lot of health. Holy crap. A one. I oh, can't win them all. I don't care. As long as it wasn't an actual critical failure. <laughs> did you just do 24 points of damage on, to this guy? Jesus. Fuck yes, I did. Damn. <laughs> I shot right. him in the brain. Yeah, you shot him right in the eye. I also lost his health. That's how dead he is. Uh, oh, there it is. There we go. Uh, okay, so that's... And he leans down, and he looks absolutely pissed. Borky, it's now your turn. Your butt's on fire. Borky can, can, can Borky use his bonus action to just like just grind his butt into the ground until it goes that out. That would be a movement action, I'd say. Really? Okay, the Borky has a flame. Actually, no. You can you can use your bonus action or your movement action, your choice. I'll, I'll say that. Because I want Borky. Borky rages. Okay. Borky grabs his axe. His ass is on fire. <laughs> it's time to get okay. It's time to get Borky. And Borky charges right at the rat thing with his axe drawn. Okay. And swings with all his anger and might. All right. Well, 14. You, uh, that hits. 12 slashing. All right, you slash into the rat, and as you do, and you bring up your weapon, you hear <laughs> as the wounds just begin to heal. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Plus two for rage, so a 14. Okay. There we go. All right, Tarisk. It's now Tarisk's turn. Get him, boy! Uh, let's see. Let me grab Tarsk's book here. There we go. There he is. Oh, uh, let's see. What are you going to do? All right. You're going to go for a bite attack, I think. Uh, and you're going to miss. No! Oh, <laughs> buddy. Stupid dog! <laughs> you made me look bad. <laughs> Stupid dog. You made me look bad. Yeah, he runs up, he tries to bite, and the rat folk just sets his, his leg aside, and just, like, you, you hear a gnashing of his jaws as he just miss, misses it, claps together. Greckles, it's now your turn. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna do my dash and get up right behind his butt. Okay. Because I can't attack him any other way. And I will get this uh, scary acid of stab going. Hope I don't roll a one, y'all. 24. Nice, uh, that's it. It's very nice. It's very nice. Uh, eight plus one. I assume no sneak attack damage. Uh, no. Yeah, you get sneak attack as you're flanking. Excellent. Let's roll that two d six. So nine there. nine plus five. So fourteen. Nice. You slice right into him, and as you do, you watch as the wounds begin to heal, but the acid drips into the wound and basically keeps it at like a wound. It, it prevents the healing and the rat just shrieks out in pain. The arrow still jutted in its eye. Um, yeah. okay, so that was... Do I have any bonus actions left? Because I, I just dashed and did a single attack. Uh, what was your mobile feat? Does your mobile feat treat mobile, dashing? Mobile feat treats... Well, it treats... Da uh, it, it... Weird, weird, um, terrain doesn't affect movement. Okay. And then you have 40 speed, so yes. yeah, then you don't have a bonus action because you used it to dash as a rogue. But I get dashing as a bonus action because of... Um, yeah, because so, you're a rogue. Right. So could I technically use the bonus action to dash, make an attack, and then 
move. Your mobile makes it so you can, doesn't it? You don't take yes. attacks of opportunity. Yeah, that you, is can just, you can just move normally, like with your full what your dash would be. So you moved however many feet you want to just move the rest of that as your mobile feet lets you run away screaming. So that okay, so that was 70, 40, 80. I've got 10 feet to work with then. Uh, so here. Yeah. And then as I run, I'm just gonna just just say, um, acid, poison, fire, anything. All right, panic. I gotta roll fire damage for Borky real quick. <laughs> you take one point of fire damage, Borky. Get on him! Ass is still oh on fire. Panic! It's now your turn. Quick, someone pat my mm. eyes. Okay. All right. Uh, what kind of action would it be to put out Borky's fire? Uh, I'd, I'd Mage say Hand it. water. Blow on it. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Uh, you know, I'll be nice. Bonus action. Oh no! Never mind. I can't even reach in this turn. So, uh. Panic is going to move up slightly behind Borky. Um, and he's going to cast uh, Blindness Deafness on the rat. Okay. Wow. And choose Deafness. <laughs> God, hey, that was my good eye! <laughs> Aww. He's it's a save, choose, correct? Yeah, he's going to choose uh, Deafness for this spell. Deafness? Hey, I only got one of these left! Oh, he failed. He rolled a three. Oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> so he is now deafened until... Uh, he's deafened for one minute. Okay. And as my bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Borky. Thank you. Heal the Borky butt. <laughs> Breathe life that into my butt. Is... <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sadine, it is terrible, but everyone's finding it funny, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I could be much worse in this situation. Heal for seven damage. Thank you. Up to 36. <laughs> Poor Helen Keller Splinter. <laughs> oh, 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 Damn, that chat. That was bad. Damn, chat. You chat, you being That's... mean. Ooh. <laughs> Alrighty, that ends your turn there, Panic. Rats yeah. are stupid cute, though, out of context. They are. They're really cute. Sewer rats, not so much. No, All no, right. but fancy rats, yes. Oh, yeah, they're super cute. Hooded rats. Anyway, sorry. <clears throat> um, He's going to take a swing at you with disadvantage due to being shot in the eye. That's an eight plus two. Wait, no. hold on. That is, no, an eight plus four, so that's a 12 to hit. No, 15. Which doesn't hit. He, in his blind and death state, leans forward to bite you and just completely misses. Like, he bites, like, like like the three feet next to you and just uh, chitters hmm. and he's gonna attempt to make another attack and that's a natural one. Oh, yes! does, he bite him, does he bite himself no. uh oh, what's borky wearing is Bork borky wearing a belt buckle borky is wearing a belt buckle the rat man goes to bite you and bites your belt belt buckle and you hear a horrible cracking noise as it breaks its own teeth on your belt. I, I just tried to put my dick off. <laughs> Maybe he's into it. Oh my god, no. Don't start. Here, let me roll to see if the rat's into it. He's not. Surprise. The <laughs> rat's not into it. The rat's not why into it. Why was there a dedicated roll for this? Because why not, Zito? <laughs> Alright. Like Task, it's now your turn. Nadine, can I ask a question? It's mm -hmm. kind of meta, but I want to see if I can actually do this. Mm -hmm. uh, if I want to make a roll to see that this is lycanthropy, what would I do? I'd say arcane. Arcane? All right. Will you will you grant me this roll? Yes. Fantastic. So, no! You don't fuck know. Me. Not All a right. No, fuck it. All right. I'm going to go ahead... And shoot me a dumb rat. Hey. Forky dips, ducks, and dodges. Without 
w w possibly it would be cool if I was able to make that roll without losing my page like I do every 15 fucking seconds. That'd be super neat. I don't know why that keeps happening to you. Ooh, 20. Oh, that Oh, that's a 20. Hey. 11, that's 19 points of damage. Oh, All wait, right. oh, and the 1d6 because of my mark. Yep. Oh, my God. Yeah, but it's probably... Mm, three. Hey, Ooh. you shoot the arrow through, and as the arrow goes through, the wound heals, but then there's a flash of arcane from your hunter's mark, which cracks down into the rat's core, and you see it wheeze and crumple down, twitching, dead. Yeah! Borky turns and puts his butt out on it. Since it doesn't say it, I'm treating um, hunter's mark as magic damage. Just Oh, sick. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, just, you know. Yeah, yeah. It makes, I'll, it makes I'll, sense. I'll actually put that down as arcane then in this in the stats. It doesn't say, which is weird. I feel like it should say, and I could have that wrong. But for now, we'll just say it's a pretty crappy uh, rat man. Why on earth would I think so hard to kill? It kept rehealing. It kept like I'm gonna I'm gonna roll me another intelligence check. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that as well. I guess I will too. Eighteen. Okay. That's arcane. Forky ain't got no idea. Fuck me, I don't either. Ten. All right, uh, Greckles, in your experiences being kind of in the, the Sully uh, sort of, um, you know, thieves and, and that sort of thing, um, you, you deal with a lot of other things that like to hide in sort of the nooks and crannies, the dark nooks and crannies of the world. This is a were-rat. Um, oh. You've met one or two before, but have been smart enough to keep your distance. Um, they do tend to attack unprovoked, and they can spread their disease of their lycanthropy through uh, contact in some cases. I'll just, re just for the sake of bravery, I'm going to relay that just to everyone else. All right, Task, good thing, because Task was about to go ahead and try and get some loot off this guy, but <laughs> hearing that, no, it's too dangerous. Burn the corpse. Okay. Does it, does it have any gear on it? Uh, you find three gold pieces, and it's wearing kind of like tattered linens, like... Probably someone from up above who probably ran down here to hide. You get the sense. The camp is hastily made. Gotcha. All right, everyone step back. Yep. And I'll, I'll just, I'll just, just get over here. I'll just, uh, fire, I'll just firebolt it until it sets, until it sets on fire. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You do three consecutive fireballs, and eventually the entire body is engulfed in flames. It begins to to burn. Borky walks just as up. Borky's butt does. <laughs> Borky walks up to Panic, and as he walks up to Panic, he's walking away from the camera, and you just see his ass. <laughs> he puts his hand on Panic's shoulder, looks him dead in the eye, and says, We're even. That is true. Wait, no, it's not. No, it's you just, killed me. No, no, you killed my butt. You killed my groove. I'm going to roll an investigation check on the uh, ex <laughs> investigation check on the campsite. Bork, you take two points of fire damage as your butt continues to burn. I, I, I said I put it out, actually. Oh, did you? I didn't hear you. Yeah. He put. He said he put it out on the corpse. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Um, That's what he said. That's what he said. Shit. All right. mm. You investigate there? Yep. Okay. I rolled you a 16, by the way. find a really tiny uh, chest actually hidden beneath some rubble. Ooh. There you go. Hey, hey! What did we find? Let's open that shit. We found a chest. Oh, shit. You open it up. You find bits and baubles, nothing of any value, um, shiny things, but like, you know, like old bits of chain from like really cheap jewelry, like something a crow would pick up. But you do find a very shiny vial of a uh, blue liquid. All right. Blue liquid vial. I'll take that. Nothing really of interest here. Just this. We'll hold on to it until we can get it you know, properly appraised. And unless, duh. unless, right. unless, looks to panic and holds the vial to him. What? Identify. Say please. Okay, please identify. Why are you mad, panic? Please identify, sir. I'll throw it at you. Panic will catch it. <laughs> you are really low, I can't hear you. Yeah, you're super quiet, dude. Panic will catch it. Okay. okay. No, I, I didn't. I didn't. I, I was no. I, that was a threat. That was oh. a, that was an empty threat, dude. Oh, that was okay. a, that was an empty threat. He's just like say pray, pray, say whatever, whatever. He's just like I'll throw it at you. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Well, you'll lose it forever. It'll be splattered all over my face. Why are you so mad? Task fucking waddles his way right up to him, grabs his wrist, and puts it in his hand. Please. And it casts Identify. All right, it's a potion of cure disease. Ooh. Hey. That's, unfor that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. A potion of cure disease. Damn. We'll need this if we're down here in this poop. It's pretty weak. It's not a very strong potion, uh, but you get the sense you know why it's down here, especially for this person. They were mm. probably trying to find a way to help themselves. Uh, that's mm. a shame. Should I take? Well, wait, so should I take that? Because I put my butt out on that ride, and if that ride is like bad, I don't want. I'm gonna it. check medical on Borky. Okay. Yeah. Medical roll, medicine roll, seventeen. Okay, you take a look at Borky's butt. Uh, which, by the way, at this point, the back part of your barbarian kilt um, is just a perfect circle with just your butt cheeks. Um, Guts, man! Literally, yeah. Daddy. Um, and as you look at the charred butt, um, you, you estimate that there's probably no fear of contamination um, at this point. Tass kind of like slaps him on the back. He'll be fine. <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> That's good. I got Aslan barbar assless barbarian chaps right now. Okay. Yeah, that would be, that'd be a great thing. You don't feel it don't a worry, nice don't worry, Borky. Your butt's not gonna turn into a wear butt. I feel Thank free. <laughs> All right, and that. we're gonna end the session there. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh my goodness. We're just trying to go down and sell some. Sh We're just trying to go down and find find out what's going on in the city. But this is fun. It's like we like immediately go into another saga in the same saga. It's neat. Yeah. yeah. By the way, at this point, you guys do level up. I didn't level up you guys last week just because roll twenty was just like no dreams for you. So oh, we'll oh sweet. Up this week. Yeah. We'll we are it. level four, boys. Yeah, you're level four. Should now. we should we go ahead and stop recording? Oh yeah. yes, absolutely, yes. guys. Stop recording. All right, stopping now. Okay. File. File. Save Little project as. Save as. This is this is uh, episode seventeen. Yep. There we go. We've been doing seven. We've had seventeen episodes on the Unexpectables. That's pretty fucking. Yeah. That's pretty fucking. We're cool. we're about to we're about to hit our twentieth anniversary. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. It's happening so fast. Your <laughs> old. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Roll Twenty, for. <laughs> Yeah, roll twenty kind of fucked us royal last session. Yeah, oh my god, I couldn't believe that. I'm seeing some amazing art already. Uh, we're just gonna switch. Oh, sure I gotta go onto the Twitter real quick. Um, oh, some good, there's some, there's some good, some good. I feel like there's a lot of really good stuff. I feel like there's a lot of what the fuck are you doing linking that 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 looted pumpkin? Uh, <laughs> looted pumpkin? What? Yeah, you said the looted pumpkin. Oh, that, but that was before. I was just like, that's something I'm gonna throw into my Discord spooky, uh, five, uh three spooky huh. five me thread. It's just why? Because pumpkins, Halloween. Hunky pumpkins. Why? Hunky pumpkin. Hunky pump. What? Hunky pumpkin. Hunky pumpkins. There you go. Don't worry about what it. What do you? What do you? I am gonna worry about it. I feel like that's something we should have a discussion about. I feel like we need to actually, we need a task force. We to have fan art of hunky punkies. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I'm just sending. I'm, I'm transferring the file right now before I forget. I'm transferring. All right. So we. Uh, I'm gonna go to. The, I'm gonna go to the. Uh, hold on. Wait. Hold on. Give me. Give gonna, me wait, wait, here. By the way, everybody, thank you so much for all the bits you're giving and feeding the lovely, the good boy. And I gotta give a shout out again to. Uh, Cupcakes. Uh, I also gotta give a shout out again to Metamancer for her amazing layout. Like this makes the. Mm -hmm. Doesn't this make the Unexpectables look better? Like I think it totally does, right? It does. It really, it's really nice. It really feels like it just, it's just Tarsk's uh. eye. It's just Tarsk's <laughs> eye, you know. It's just oh, oh, Nadine's laughing. There's a lot of comedy. In... <laughs> you okay, Nadine? You okay? I just, oh, someone did Zoa Killer. When we get to your art, thank you. It's good. It's good. Oh, sweet gentle lord. We got a lot of good art. Oh, I get, okay, oh, fair, level four, very hard. ability score so much. improvement. <laughs> okay, guys, this might take me a bit. There's quite a bit. Oh, no. Um, we we not, might have to be a bit selective about some of these well, things. Well, we're not going to be able to hover on everybody, uh, unfortunately. This is kind of the problem we ran in last time. We were doing it for like an hour. 
There's just so yeah. much of it. And like, I want to give everyone time of day, but we like, whew. Yeah. You know, we'll have to, we'll have to steamroll through. Quick. We'll have to steamroll through. We can't do poems or songs right now. Just. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, no Though, uh, for anybody who's just like, do we see them? I've seen literally, like, I've read everything that's been sent. I try and read everything that's been sent and listen to everything that's been sent. So it is being seen. Don't think it's not being seen. <laughs> the freaking egg spiders! <laughs> Frother. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I think we got I think I got everything for now. If you're sending an art now, please send it earlier. Please, if you're gonna send art, send it ASAP. Fra Fra like, um, just because it's like I go through this and then I I come back and it's just all right. There we go. We should be good to go. Okay, cool. And I'm just gonna yep. There we go. I'm just gonna yeah. I'll order my food because I'm very hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry too. Okay, okay, cool. So we're gonna we're gonna hop in there real fast. All right, let's. Uh, just yeah, it should be good to okay, go. Okay, the on. All right, guys, are you ready for the art? Yeah, let's do it. Unexpectables Twitter. There we go. I'm just gonna scroll down. Here we go. Amel, it's Mel. Thank you so much, Jester's Unite. Oh, what the? F what the? Sh yeah, Twitter's glitching out a bit. No, that's gonna make this so much harder. <laughs> what the fuck, Smooky? I'll, I'll throw. Quite the hungry one, isn't he? Everyone, that, ev everyone, guys, guys, guys. I don't mean to alarm you, but that's Littlefoot. Littlefoot. That is fucking. That, look at the head shape. It's little yeah. foot with the nose horns. <laughs> yeah. I just why I, why does Ty have a long flowing fan and such burly muscles? Like I was about to say, I want to know why everyone is making Ty a bara. I really uh, want. I, 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 I honestly, I don't think we need to ask those questions. I think we have to accept that Ty is a bara. Thank you so much, Altrey. I was quite the hungry one, isn't he? Oh. Feed the boy, the special boy. Oh. Pen pressure, <laughs> Citric King. <laughs> no. What what is this? Citric King, what is this in reference to? Is this task task dirty hands? Oh. Oh. These are the hands of a working man. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much, Citric King. Couldn't draw him stand stand, but here's task with a hammer instead. Red dragon overdrive motherfucker. Overdrive motherfucker. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you, Basil Lovell, thank you for the bits. Oh my god, you guys are loving them with the bits. A good boy, a derpy boy. This is a Galabder. The Maz. Galabder. And the Galabder. <laughs> mm. Octo mm. Or October. Or it's October. Yeah, it's October. It's great. Oh, that's, thank you, Grey Beast 1995. Just the sexy boy orcs. Just like, I feel like my shoes are not tall enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mizuka Ichiha, I want you. For my dog army, <laughs> give up your pathetic lives and join now. <laughs> That's great. That's good stuff. Thank you so much, Mr. Gigachia. And oh, Man Burbs Rogue. Here, so here's my drawing one of Inktober. A guy should come Man Burb Rogue from the Unexpectables campaign. Greckles moving swiftly. Thank you, Hulk the Hero. You know, I, I, I always wondered how in the world he would wear a mask over his beak, but I guess we Z have our answer. Oh, Zenhawk, thank you so much for the 5,000 bits. You guys drilled in a lot of bits at the beginning. We couldn't actually go through them all, but holy crap, guys. Thank you so much for the bit drops right now. Seriously, you guys pay for this ton. show. You guys pay for this show. Like, seriously. Uh, here, the best boy got a, got a cupcake today. Nutcase art. <laughs> So cute. Thank you, Nutcase. Did, did you guys see that it's actually a smiling cupcake? Yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The Demon Pirate of Metal from Age Old Art. Some amazing panic art. Amazing, like, pen and ink work there. Oh, that looks really good. I love... Uh, panic kind of does look like a pirate good. ship captain. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look amazing. Thank you so much. This art works so great. <laughs> Hector Nujab, uh, Great Beast, 1995, Panic... I need to return your lock. <laughs> As Barkley <laughs> throws the electric spear. You ki didn't kill, con kill Panic, but you killed the ship talk of Frowny Face. I'm sorry. I made the scary <laughs> thing cute. Oh, God. Ruby Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Rip Borky Jr. from Jappel. The egg. <laughs> it's terrifying. 
I just love it's an egg with legs. That's perfect. Ooh, from Box Robot. Oh my god, thank you so much for the bits, Basil the Lovable. Panic needs more love interest. He already has too many, but maybe he needs more. Here we go. <laughs> I know the subject's a little bit late, but I kind of find how involving Task and Solly of the Unexpectables. Okay, Solly. How do we defeat a god? Genocide of the Believers. Nope, nope, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Fucking love that art. <laughs> Box Robot, that art is... <laughs> Genocide of the Believers. I love the last... I love I, 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 I'm sorry, but when I look at that piece of like, I look at the first picture of Task, and I just hear, "Are they saying Bruins?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really good. Oh, mine cricks. Witness your beautiful child, Borky. It's <laughs> <laughs> terrifying. Oh, Frother. it's so scary, Frother. Frother. Frother, it's me, Frother. I'm good for you. I'm good in the breakfast, Father. He comes back and saves us at the last minute of a terrible situation. Citric, <laughs> Citric King, the most dedicated horseshoe maker of all of Alabast. I love this art, Citric King. This is like the official title. This is Citric King is so good at drawing the the constructs. It's, it's so good. Yeah, you're so good, Citric. I'm ah, f it's amazing. No, 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 the words, Citric King. Amazing art. Thank you so much for that, dude. That looks fucking cool. Don't forget to it follow. looks so happy. If you guys like these, <laughs> if you guys like these artists, please don't hesitate to subscribe to them or follow them on twi Twitter. Or stuff. if they do commissions, commission them. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Seriously, like some amazing artwork and I'm just amazing. So art for Borky and thanks to the Unexpectables making my Wednesdays a day to look forward to. Made it made made the twentieth. Made the twenties roll 20s. freely. Made the twenties roll freely. Thank you, Ethier Pyrus. Thank you so much for the Borky art. <laughs> All right, we got uh, we have oh, we got some sh schmoogin. I let's it's it's been all, it's just been all good. Just cup taurus <laughs> with them cupcakes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And this, yes, oh. this, this exactly this. <laughs> just panic on them shoulders. That's super cute. Master of Borky. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw on. Oh, I can't throw on music. No, I can't do on music. Right. Uh, I can throw on music. Travis yeah. Carey Pro. We have weapons from the left to the right. Borky's great axe. Two versions of the acid dagger. One kobold spear and a fight. One fey rapier for panic. That's really cool, dude. Thank you so much, Travis Carey Pro. Oh, thank you. That's fucking. Those are like wood, I think, too. Yeah, they look wood. Yeah, sweet. There you go. There's some music. Here we go. First thing I thought of when Borky carried panic. Yes! Zoa King! Yes! <laughs> this is what I was laughing at. <laughs> 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 Zoa King with the fucking ah. Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> Yas King Slay. Wow. Fucking smile on my face. It's so great. Thank you so much. Oh, the fan art's so crazy. Here we go. Oh, from Sinky Koo. Forgot to tag the Babs. I forgot to add in Panic's horn and Borky's is best Orky. Thank you, and I agree. Sinky Koo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Eat, eat them trees, boy. <laughs> Get your, eat your greens. You need, you need more greens. Yes. They're form <laughs> la they, Travis, uh, Travis A. Carey, they're, form, they're foam LARP weapons. That's pretty fucking sweet. Tree Sweet. stars. That's awesome. Oh, Sinky Koo, though, but this is great. Eat, eat, eat tree stars. Eat your tree stars, Panic. Oh, it's amazing. I love Porky Face. Oh, he's having that <laughs> anime reaction. That's so great. A strong. Like, it's just, I love the face. Oh, amazing art. Thank you. Also, more sketches. Here we go. We got some more. She's, this artist is drawing all the female characters in Halloween costumes. She did uh, uh, Helga, if we get to Mickey it. Square, thank you so much. And that's hot. Uh, that is, this is great. Every, ma, every man. And we also have our wonderful. Ruby. Ruby, exactly. Here we go. Protect the beautiful cinnamon roll. Oh, there's Zoe King. Helga. <clears throat> oh, Mer uh, Mer um. It's Meryl, Meryl or yes, yeah, Meryl. Yeah, mm -hmm. I normally don't like work in progress, but here at Unexpectables from ha from Grey Beast 1995, Tass the sub GM. Oh my fucking hat back! Greckles the sign Weeberg. <laughs> Borky. <laughs> Pat the stake. Am I still pretty? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, it's good shit. Cheese from Minecrix, thank you so much. Cheese Tysk. Cheese Greckles. Cheese Panic. Yes, I'm I'm aping Gromit. 
Cheese Ghoul, mate. <laughs> I grew up on those shows, man. Fuck yeah. I was uh. fucking can't get enough of that shit. I was going to make a comic about Borky realizing Taz doesn't have horns, but I decided I screwed up on his face. You, you say screw up, Bowler1956. You say screw up. I disagree. I'm sorry, but Gripples, look at that smile. Also, 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 why is Gripples still a dog? Yeah, why am I still a dog? Huh. He's a dog, he's a dog, man. I didn't know you were a dog during the Enter Cap fight. Hey, you know, sometimes I just like to randomly change species. I am a ninja after all. I don't want this thing to be Oh, I just. I'm sorry, I love the face. It's like, oh. Oh. I just love that all three of them have the same face. I have such a smile on my face. It hurts. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much, Bowler156. We got some schmoogin' coming in hot and fresh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, it's good. That's good. <laughs> he got no more blue left to give. <laughs> I love it. He's a flock turkey. <laughs> and this, <laughs> oh, this is good. Where milk comes from. Okay, that sounds fake, but okay. <laughs> Thank you, Basil <laughs> Lovable. Oh my goodness, this is great. I silly scribble because I can't stop thinking about Chicken Man and the Blue Feather Harvest Moon reference for clarity. Ah, oh, that's cool. Thank you, Sam DeSilva. No, I, I still can't see him. I cannot unsee him as the Chicken Man from Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Yeah. Task is a knife cat meme incorporated. Oh, that was seen out pointing out of you. <laughs> Task <laughs> making a face. That's good. Thank you so much, Siki Ku. That's cute. Oh my god, that's cute art. I love the I love the effect you put in the background there. It's good. From Keg Minami. Oh, here we go. Oh, we have a comic. <laughs> <laughs> Panic! It's been too long. <gasps> External screaming. <laughs> yeah, you have to you have to call. Yeah, I used to call you on your cell phone. We got I quit art from Miss Empress Sable. I quit art years ago, but I couldn't resist doing a doodle for the edgiest Doge. Might do the rest of the crew later. Oh, you shouldn't give oh, up on I art. This it. looks amazing. Yeah, don't give up this on art. Totally Empress crap. Sable, yeah. this looks really amazing. Is this ink? This looks like ink work, right? Looks like watercolor ink, That's yeah. That's pretty amazing. Thank Gorgeous. you so much, Empress Sable. Looks great. All right, let's continue on because we have a lot to dig through here. Oh. Bracky, Bracky, I love this. Bracky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Loves his face. I mean, who else would need them? <laughs> just, just a... <laughs> Your eyes crack through the goggles. <laughs> Is that blood yes. coming out my mouth? Yeah, yes. Your eyes crack through the goggles. Your eyes are bleeding. I just you poofed up your outfit. Ah, oh, that's good. That's a good cop. That's a good. I mean, it's, it's a good jape. Who else would use them? That's a good jape. A little bit of troll. Oh, Bracky, you son of a gun. That's great. The lightning spear created a rave rat. <laughs> Thank you. I like. I like Chris. how. It, I like how it looks like a mouser from Mario Two. It does. <laughs> it reminds me of biker mice from Mars. Yeah. <laughs> I get the vibe from like the Cheeto cheetah. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Thank you, Mind Cricks. It's super cool. Oh, this some of this art is so freaking great, man. And the oh. bonus best boy enjoy eating some cum cake cum cu cupcakes from the Maz C2009. Nice. Get in there. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, big boy. And I think that's it tonight. No, there's more. You oh, should keep more. going. Keep scrolling. Uh, I'd say keep going until we get to Jack's art piece that he, he I did, I put did, up. I met, I met six hours ago now. Is that okay? Yeah, just keep going. Oh, okay. There's some finish. There's some finished work in progress that have been worked on for almost like weeks Yons. now that have been posted. You, you've yeah, heard, you've heard of Elf on a Shelf. Now get ready for Willow on a Pillow. Thank you, Schmoogan. That's cute. There <laughs> <laughs> oh, we go. Working okay. on Halloween sketches. Oh boy, Helga. It's Helga as a witch. Oh wow. Really misspelled her actual name off by one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh. this is Sir, Sir Malverick with with wow, fucking the gripples. the gripples doodle. I can't unsee. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm, I'm as a voice actor. I'm happy I could do that. As a human being, I hate that I could do that. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I did not place my food order. Oops. 
Uh oh. Oh well. Oh jeez. Now you're gonna go to bed hungry. No, I'm not. I know I will not. I think. It... Okay, cool. That was. Oh, we have a song here. We we can't do the song though, unfortunately. But uh, we have. Good work, Tiki. I liked it. Tiki the Thumbs troll. Up. Uh, I'll just post it, put it up here real fast if people want to take a look in the thing. How do they get? Oh my God! Actually, oh, at some point, imagine you singing that would be great. Definitely take a look at that later when you have a chance. Panic. Hmm? Someone wrote a song for Panic Room Tom. Oh yeah, I did see that actually. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, definitely. At some point, maybe we should. Maybe we can do something with that. Let's save it though. Okay, and we have a completed Hargalift Studio. The end of the Internal Kingdom is done. Take a look at this art, guys. Look, this is amazing. Thank you so She's much. She's been for working on this forever. This is so well mm -hmm. detailed. It's like you really deserve all the props you get, Hargalif, for this. This is a spooky Amy. Amy, thank you so much for this art. It's so detailed. This is so cool. And honestly, I ah, oh, if it wouldn't give away the storyline, I could I would almost see making this the thumbnail for that episode. One of the things I always would like to do is like change the thumbnails for each episode, but that's just a lot of that's the amount of work I can't give to the project right now. At some point, maybe if we get a producer working on a lot of different aspects, this would this. make a fantastic print. It, like it really, it really would. And I'm gonna like, I'm, and I'm gonna be honest. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that in mind going forward here, uh, for the unexpectables, because as we you know, we've grown pretty heavily. I think we pulled thirteen hundred again today. Yes, something like that. Yeah. Oh. Did we pull? Did we pull thirteen hundred today? I, I didn't really check the numbers. We, I don't. I have Last it. I checked, it was thirteen. Oh yeah, cool. That's really solid, and I'm really happy to hear that. And. uh... It's just amazing, Hargalif. Thank you so much for this work. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to give that a retweet once I get on my uh, proper account. But, yeah. Awesome. Just awesome. I love, still love Panic's face. Oh! I don't know why. I don't, I don't ask why. I don't know why myself. We have Caramel Dance and Borky. <laughs> I like Task Walking and just like, uh. It's like, oh, fuck. It's a meme. What <laughs> stupid? The fuck is a meme? I've lived <laughs> underground all my life. What's a? You're gonna love them. Here we go. Same thing. Some things are best forgotten. Part two. Two. I think I forgot the picture the first time I sent it. Oh yeah, no, that that's the. That's a continuation. Yeah. yeah. Oh hey, task. You all right? When therapy starts, I'll be golden. Nah, you're right, but it's okay. Surely. I'm the always right, you fucking Nimrod. Surely not the first time Panic received a shock from behind. Oh, Jay oh. Weaver. Jay Weaver. Oh, man. Oh, Borky's ooh, face is exactly ooh, the face ooh. I made when I did it. And uh, <laughs> I love Greckles and Panic, too. <laughs> you mean Task? Oh, sorry. <laughs> How many times? Greckles and Task. I'm hungry and I'm sick. Fucking took my cold mints. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> like, like goodness. But thank you so much, Jay Weaver eighty five. Oh, I also don't think I properly gave credit to uh, Blade three four three. Thank you so much for the art, Blade three four three, as well. Here we go. Uh, we have, of course, this wonderful little comic here from Anwin Green. Your turtle's really. Oh, oh, this is from the first episode. Yeah, your turtle's really cute. Where'd you get him? Blink, blink. <laughs> One eye blink, and the other blink. <laughs> He's, he's not, not actually, actually he's actually how much do you want for him <laughs> <laughs> and from oh, okay. freeze that hd holy shit oh shoot. Shit. finish this, this finish this dog, dog pack for the at unexpectables because i will not give up the chance to draw anything as doggos holy crap this is so damn <laughs> taurus fucking gerbil let's go one eye going one way and one eye going the other way <laughs> It's just, it's, this is, this is, this is so good. This is like super, like amazing art. Like, I can't get over Task. Task is just perfect. I love that so much. <laughs> Task is like, uh, it's just, it, it, it just, it's all the subtle things. I love the, I love the eyes on uh, Greckles. I love the, mm -hmm. I love the little sparkles. It's like all, aside from the art, there's a lot of extra effort put into there. Sully being all weird in the background. Yeah, it's Sully, the like just cowering in the back. I just heckin' good voice. Just heckin' good voice. This is, I, I could stare at this for a while actually, guys. I just keep drinking this in, how good this looks. Thank you so much, Freeze at HD. Holy crap. <laughs> Tass the Yipper. Yeah, remember, the Yipper was the one who fucking Slash, who pulled the ass off of a displacer beast. It's true. 
Mizuki Uchi, I still haven't gotten a new tablet, so we'll have, this will have to do for now. I love All so the what girls. do you ladies think? No shirt, no service. Oh my, what happened? Not this again. Nah, I've seen better. <laughs> and then Ozzy's just going to it out. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, well, well, well. And I, I love Rivi. <laughs> eh! <laughs> there we got some. Task. I said your name right. Yay. <laughs> so Thank proud. You so, so proud. <laughs> you get a sugar cube, Taka! <laughs> Thank you. I, I, that's not good. We meet again. We meet again, brother. After all these eons, how has the plan been going in my absence? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> there it is. Excellent day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the deep lore on, on Gripples. Just the deep lore. I, I, here we go. I couldn't, sorry, I couldn't resist Ninja Doggo Go. Elated Megalodon. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good that's good that's good. i can no longer walk anymore <laughs> that's amazing i regret everything oh you can't red, naruto red, you can't naruto also, run anymore red red raw thank you so much for that little comic too sorry i forgot to credit you there we go doodles of waffles this is cool silent shy guy this is unexpected really unexpected art but my god it's look at this so cute the fucking owl bear. I don't know when we will have an owl bear like situation, but with this upcoming storyline, there might be a fight. Dude, in. no, the fucking paladin storm in. We want you out. We we demand that we stay in owl bear. We have we have a Helga and owl bear. Anyone else who is in the pub and us. If if if, in Val, if, if, if your Val. <laughs> and also let's not forget if this just becomes a pitched battle in our place against a giant a small army, I'll be like, all right, you see this lightning spear. Borky has the Borkley has the megaphone taunting them the whole time. <laughs> I just looked at all the NPCs and just go, get the fuck down. Oct but thank you so much, Silent Shy Guy. This is amazing art. Dude love waffles. A little dude. And this is cute too. I gotta show this. It's time. Here we go. It's time to get Orky. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's time yeah. to get Borky. Ha! That is from Creepy Nose. My son overheard me listening to your guys' stream and won't stop now. Taka, you make awesome characters. Thank you so much. And I am melting inside my core right now. Oh my, you have no idea. It's so cute. It's, it really is. <laughs> Here we go. A new Shmookin comic for the unexpected. Probate! We have an army. Oh. We have an all Al bear robot. 5,000 bits. Thank you so much, Probate. We have an army. We have an all bear robot. And Helga. Right to Taurus. There he goes. <laughs> and from Ryan, wow. at Ryan Cossack, we have a new Shwookin coming for the Unexpectables. I have... <laughs> All the... Do you want me to do it? Yes. <laughs> yes. I've had such a lovely time torturing the heroes, Gripples. Thank you for the pointers. <laughs> it is my pleasure to grant advice in the ways of destruction. The river shall flow with red, and the end will be... Snack time! How did he get in here? Uh, nobody makes, like, really good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, the, next, the next one is sketches of something we've seen completed up above. So just heads up there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right, okay, cool. Thank you so much, Ryan Cossack. That's amazing. We have a Helga. Poor Monty. That game was crazy. Oh, this is from my stream. Sorry, I shouldn't have... Let's just, oh, huh. Hmm. How dare you? I mean, I personally am just relieved the shout, the shouting, shouting when I no longer I was just for the game. I was so pained. I thought something happened to you. I mean, I'm in a blanket with like cuddle up right now, wanting to play a nice relaxing, relaxing game, and like here we are. <laughs> yeah, oh, I can. Here we are. Whip of the work in progress of the the white tiefling who will who I think will be still havity. Not bad. Pretty tight. That's pretty tight. Thank you so much, Kaylee and the alien. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> what is this? What have I done? I killed Panic. Poor Tiefling. Poor little Panic. Gross well, thing. what did you expect from D in D and D? A happy ending? <laughs> I love that reference. <laughs> yes, that's a good reference. Poor and oh, little Tiefling. <laughs> Thank you, Schmoogan. And this, oh, it's Task's backstory. 
Oh my god, freeze that HD again coming in. Oh my lord. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's Tass's good. backstory. Freeze that HD, we might need to talk. Holy shit. Your artwork is amazing. <laughs> we have so many amazing artists who, who submit stuff here. Like, I can't even list. The, I know. The list, the list is, like, at this point, over, like, 25. Just, like, there's so many people who just give me... 25? No, what are you talking about? It's beyond 30. God damn. Like, Spook said it. I mean, free that HD. Yo, my goodness. If there was ever someone, I think, I would want to, like, paint, like, what Alavast looks like from the sky... I think I give it to this guy. Mm -hmm. mm hmm. That is. How does it feel, Zito, to see that for your backstory? It was fluff. It was just passing by fluff, and it's a fucking painting. The hand is so dark. Just it's the hand. It's so in the good, though. It, 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 it just looks. It just. It makes the. It just makes it look like power. Like the the, the dragon just looks powerful. It's so oh cool. god, it's so cool. I oh. like the lighting. If it's it's so hard to make like lightning, like authentically look like lightning, and it's just it's so good. Yeah, no, you did a really good job on that. Thank you so much, Freeze at HD. No, no, I mean if you got commissions open, guys, head over to Freeze at HD. You've seen the quality of their work. All right, continuing on, cause whew, that is just ah my god. Naked anime task layout. Anime and naked anime task layout. Thank you so much, Angry and Win Green. Thank you for the turnaround. I think this next one should be the one we, we end on. But yep. Oh right. yes. Here we go. We're gonna end on cute. We're gonna end on cute. We have Doros. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh. what do I do? 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 Doros on a date. <laughs> <laughs> the worst outfit ever. It's perfect. It's I... like the best outfit ever. This is amazing. <laughs> Just that mile long stare. I like that him and his paladins. I'm like, oh my goodness, are they the cops? Are they the are they the lawful? They're, they're the lawful ones, and then we have the unlikables who are the unlawful ones, and then we're in the middle. I'm like, oh, I love this. My boy, big fancy boy, fancy boy Doros. <laughs> I just can't get over the poofy shorts. <laughs> he just looks so fancy. <laughs> Just his hand, his hands, like just carefully in his in, in his lap over the table. Just like, oh, uh, that's just like, should I move? No, I shouldn't move. No, don't breathe. Talk, whatever you do, don't breathe. Girls don't like it when you breathe. Are you having a good time? Are you having? What was should that? Should I breathe? Just, 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 just like. Are you having? What was that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for coming to the Unexpectables again. We will be again here next week. For another exciting episode of The Unexpectables, guys, thank you so much for the bits. Probably I saw a bunch of your drops. Thank you so much. And so many other kind people. Thank you so much, and I'm glad you guys like the new layout. And you know what, guys? I had a really fun time. Did you guys have a fun time? Oh, I had, I had a great time. time. I had a blast. All right, from all of us here at The Unexpectables, see you next week. Ah. And I'm going to hit stop or stream.